Hello, lovely people. Welcome to our first podcast. Um, we're both quite excited, a little bit nervous for it, um, but it's something I think we've all wanted we've wanted to do. Um, we're kind of like gonna just see where this goes, completely ad hoc and random because that's what we wanted. Um, yep. My name is Dominic, and I am joined by my lovely co-host Jerry. How are you doing, Jerry? I'm good, thank you, Dom. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, very good. I'm very good, excited. Good. Um, yeah, we're just going to be open and honest on this podcast because um, that's what we that's what we want. Um, we will mention, obviously, that we both know each other through work. Um, so our views that we we post on this podcast are completely our own, and and they don't represent who we work for. Just so we cover our backs, because we'd very much like to be employed <laughs> after Absolutely. we've recorded this. <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it. <laughs> cool. Right. Jerry's laughing because we've been we've been recording this for like twenty. Uh, how long we've, we've actually been recording for about s- ten minutes now, and we've already had a couple of um, uh, what is it? What's the term? Quote of the week, I think. <laughs> Quote of the week. <laughs> Quote of the week. In the space of less than ten minutes. Yeah, it's space of less than ten minutes. Um, we're recording this on the um, the eighteenth today. Yeah, eighteenth of June. So the, we're planning to put these out. Um, on the first of every month, we plan to do this monthly, um, and what that means is that we may be out of date if we discuss anything that that happens news-wise because things will move on. Uh, so just so you're clear, it's also ten o'clock at night. So um, Jerry is just getting into his stride. Oh yeah, I'm just warming up. This is the night is young. <laughs> I'm normally a morning person, but it, it's okay. I've, I've... <laughs> I've got it. I've had the bananas. <laughs> it was bananas. Bananas good. You know, that's if, if, you, yeah. There's other things you could have. Bananas are probably a safest option. Bananas nice are the safest option. Ob- they yeah. are the safest option. <laughs> good. Uh, so let's just do a bit who we are. Um, we've said who, you know, we've said our names. Um, we won't go into details what we do about work because that's boring. No, um, no one wants to know that. <laughs> we've both had rough weeks, I think. That's dull. Yeah. And and you know we just have like just typical kind of jobs, don't we? So it's not like I'm I'm an airline pilot or a fighter pilot or anything like that. There's no. Nothing interesting for me to report. With no, it's to that, so. and we've had that discussion before where actually we have quite generic jobs. Um, and you've recently brought up that you know uh, your daughter wanted to do something that was a little bit left field, and it was quite interesting to kind of go, yeah, that's cool. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah peanut butter and jealous yeah it's uh yeah she's i've encouraged her i've just said do do what you love yeah don't uh, don't relent to any pressure yeah. and i feel I think, like you have to do anything else yeah and i think we can safely say we do love our jobs to a certain degree yeah i do actually stress. to be fair yeah, yeah it's just boring it's dull yeah but it's, it's, boring, it's dull. but it's a great job it's a great job great company and i love it so yeah yeah we can't complain um yeah. And then from like why we're doing this podcast now, I, I I will admit that selfishly I I came up with the idea because I've always wanted to be a radio DJ. It's like the dream job that I've had for mm, since I was like eight, I think. Wow. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, but really, really early age. I'd absolutely love to be a radio DJ. Um, and and I think based upon the amount of YouTube that I watch and I watch a lot of podcasts, I was like. I'm, I want to do a podcast, but I didn't think I could solo it. And then Jerry was the poor sucker. He was like, yeah, I'll do that with you. <laughs> yeah, but it's great, Dom. This, I would never have done this solo. I mean, it didn't even cross my mind to do a podcast because I'd, I'd just never do one on my own, mm. right? So when this opportunity came up, I yeah, I jumped at the chance. It's yeah. fantastic. Take the opportunities. <laughs> yeah, you've got to grab them when they come along. This is ideal. Yeah, and I, I know... And, and and I will wholly admit I sing Jerry's praises because I think he's a great man. But um, he was the only person I would have picked for this. So, um. <laughs> likewise, Dom. Honestly, I know this is people are going to think, "Oh, what's going on here?" Lots of back <laughs> patting on the back, but high fiving. But seriously, yeah, I wouldn't do. I I wouldn't feel confident doing this with anyone else. So this is, yeah, you're a top bloke. This is good. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward we, to this. We'll pre-warn the listeners now. We have a bit of a, is it a bromance, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. it's been flourishing. Yeah, over, I, I, I've got no qualms with that at all. No, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Even if we just have been fits of giggles after ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like in terms of like structure, we're gonna have none. Like I, as you can see, we're already kind of ad libbing. 
<laughs> we, yeah, straight off the bat. Um, you need to. We, so I've taken a lot of inspiration from, I watch a podcast called The What's Good, which um, is done by a group of uh, people called the Sidemen, specifically Simon and Randolph. Um, and they do a little section called um, what, What's Good, and they have like a light switch which they switch on and off. I'm also explaining this for Jerry, because Jerry doesn't actually know where I've got the inspiration from, so quite interesting for Tim to, to learn what's going on. Um, <laughs> and they, they just do like on and off, but and then it's Jerry's fault for this. Uh, I was like, oh, we could just do on and off, like good, bad, good, bad on some of those. And the first kind of 10, I've, I've themed around that. But then Jerry was putting crazy. You, you started coming up with some really left field ideas, which I love. I love. <laughs> I'm just random. I just, that, that's me. I, I, I just think of something completely random. Um, which you, which will, yeah, I think it was my first idea, random idea. And it's going, uh, we're pretty much kicking off this podcast, aren't we? Yeah. With that, that yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We kicked off with like, I think we'll kick off in a minute with it, but it'll be like, I'll come. Yeah. It's like, I've said this and you've gone, yeah, but what happens if you think about it this way? Yeah. That was the exactly. bit that got me. And I was like, yeah. what? Like, yeah, we got it. And this is where we bounce off one another. This is, and, and this is uh, for all the listeners to this. Um, you know, this is just going to be a very relaxed, very random conversation. And, and do you know what? If we make you laugh once, in this whole podcast, each podcast, then I think we've done our job here, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, and and excellent. We're we're not doing video, but Jerry can attest at the moment. I've got like the biggest Cheshire cat grin. Oh yeah, we're on a video at the moment. Oh yeah, and Jerry has this great big grin on his face as well. <laughs> I'm going to end up with like crow's feet. I'm going to look about ten <laughs> years older than I already am. Um, and and just on the name, I think that's the reason why I, that we chose the name. Um, hats off, Jerry. You you were the one that. We, we we bounded a, bounced well, we both, a few ideas, yeah. yeah, and we came up with this. So uh, we, we've decided to call us distinct and jovial. So while our ideas or the the concepts are not distinct because they're, they're improvised from other people, and you might see some other um, a kind of influences from other podcasts, the way we're going to approach it, and I think our conversation that's definitely going to be distinct. Uh, oh yes, hundred percent. That that think that that's going to be the the thing that we're gonna we're gonna end up with. Garnished with a bit of joviality. You've got to have exactly. a bit of garnish. That's where the jovial comes in. <laughs> just a sprinkling, just a little sprinkling, <laughs> not too much, like they do with the cat food. The cat, yeah, if you're what? gonna, if you, well, if you're gonna feed like on the adverts, if you're gonna mm. feed your cat, you don't just put the cat food on the plate. Do you? you've got to put a little sprig of parsley or. <laughs> That's what they do. That's how they are you roll. You a dog person by any chance? You're not I, a cat I, I, I am. I, I'm definitely more a dog person than I'm a cat person. But, but you must have seen the cat adverts when they garnish the cat food with parsley. I mean, that's just bizarre. I, I mean, I grew What's up with cats, so we've never done that. We never did that. See, if you'd done that, maybe your cats would have just thought, yeah, they're really spoiling us. I suppose it's like they're they're equivalent of a a famous chocolate <laughs> pyramid. We can, we, can to, we can mention brands. We can mention brands. Can we can mention brands? Okay, yeah, well, Ferrero Rocher Pyramid we're not then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> at the ambassador's party, it would have been like that. The, your cats would have thought, oh, they're, they're really spoiling us with this sprig of parsley. I, I mean, you'll be interested to know because there's, there's like a, a video on like TikTok that's going around and it'd be like, so like um, uh, dogs think like, it's like this person feeds me, pets me, lets me sleep near them, takes me to the vet they must be God, right? And that's the way a dog thinks. And then a cat goes, this this, this uh, thing feeds me, pets me, takes me to the vet when I'm sick, let, you know, et cetera, et cetera, same, same lines. And then goes, I must be God. <laughs> it's just the interpretation. It's about right. It's just it's about the interpretation. Right. And yes, uh, the two cats that I had growing up were, were exceptionally, I think the word is sassy. Nice. Like a bit of sass. They were very well behaved. Like, you know, they knew they couldn't come up on the sofa and they'd only come on your lap if you, you know, double patted and, 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 and let them up. Um, <laughs> but that was it. You were then screwed for the rest of the night. You're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not moving because they're asleep and cats can sleep for a very long time. It's that thing that they do when they, they dig their claws in when they're trying to get comfortable. I can't and get past that. Needing. Is that the they, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's painful. Yeah, you learn to wear jeans. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, does it? I've not? worn some pretty no. I've worn some pretty thick jeans, and and when cats start kneading, that yeah, nothing's going to stop that. 
those claws are getting through. Do you want to know something that will make you feel better about it, though? Go Cats on, will only need if they feel safe and comfortable. Oh, bless. There yeah. you go. There they obviously go. felt safe and comfortable on my lap. <laughs> exactly. They're not that clever, then. <laughs> Just to prove how distinct and off-topic... <laughs> This is not written down, by the way, at all. Like we've got yeah, a this bunch is of notes. The, we did yeah, not expect to talk about what cats. the hell. What are we? <laughs> okay, yeah, this was not in the script. <laughs> right. well, that's just the way it goes. Um, we'll get onto the first bit then. So we're going to do like each month. We're going to have like some specific sections. Um, so we're going to do some food, a food related thing. Um, you can tell what me and Jerry both love. Um, like our favourite of or our distinct something and then we've got a section which is going to be like point we call it I've, we've renamed it to poignant questions <laughs> All right, and we'll just you'll see this is the, like our equivalent of the what's good but it's going to be more about our opinions and then we're going to do cons- we've got a conspiracy theory which we'd like to kind of discuss uh, some maybe at length some maybe less so uh, and then we want to actually use this podcast also to kind of on a more serious note to prom- like improve our health um, yeah. um you know this this month's one i think is fairly doable next month's one i'm dreading it the months afterwards jerry is really dreading it so it's uh it's we got we got a bit we have discussed one that we've both decided we're not going to do <laughs> i think we were both we both like no way yeah you got to draw a line somewhere yeah um you know, and, and healthy, you know, healthy living is, you know, do I go for 12 hot wings when I go to KFC? Do I cut that down to eight hot wings mm. um, as an additional to my Zinger Tower burger? I, I think, you know, <laughs> these are the kind of health choices that, that I can get my head around <laughs> yeah. rather than a, a kale and flax seed shake. Oh, or that kind, that yeah. not sound advertising. No, well, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll it's good the- for you. It's, I, can, I imagine it is good for you. Um, we'll mention the one that we weren't going to do. So, I mean, like to give an example, like we, we're not going to do the cold shower one because both of us are. No, well, I'm, I'm a, if it doesn't like scold me, it's not hot enough. <laughs> you want to lose about two to three layers of your skin. <laughs> the epidermis. <laughs> on your entire, yeah, yeah. You want to, yeah, you want to lose that. You want to lose those layers through the, through the searing heat of the yeah. scalding hot water that's the only way to shower so it's a cold shower forget it yeah right just, <laughs> no chance not, not, I've, i will admit i've tried it and and having in my kind of like taekwondo athlete type days i've done like ice baths Oof. but I, it's it's like and you know when you go in the sea like and you you walk you get up to your ankles you think oh this is a bit cold and you get to your knees and it's like too bad then you get to your waist and you're like <laughs> yeah that's yeah y- yeah no no <laughs> no no no, cold no just no just no right we'll go on to, we'll go on to the food section right <laughs> let's do this so, this is a 100 stolen by the way so um the happy hour podcast they ask every single guest this question which is okay. why i like i liked it as the first one to kind of really draw us both in um, but I know this is where you go really left field. <laughs> yeah, I had <laughs> I love, to, I had to I go love, left field on I this. I love it. So, food question of the month, go-to meal deal. What is your go-to meal deal? From... Good question. I think, you know, the safest bet is chicken and sweet corn. Oh. Chicken and sweet corn sandwich, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, che- cheese and onion crisps, mm. can't go wrong with that. Good combo there. Mm. Um, would you would you put the crisps inside the sandwich? No, no. Are you a, you're, so you're a um, Ye- uh, is it c- cereal eater? You eat one thing at a time, or no? No, I'll take a bite of sandwich and then take a mouthful okay. of the crisps. But it I won't shove too. the crisps in the in the sandwich. That kind of yeah, that will ruin it for me. Okay, fair enough. And then wash that down with a nice iced tea. Ooh, Can't go wrong just... with a nice iced tea. Yeah, I think oh. iced tea. I haven't had nice tea in ages. See, yeah. I go for the I go for the bang for my buck. Okay. Because I go for like it's got to be uh, chicken and bacon, uh, either wrap or roll. Oh yeah, okay. Um. So, sorry, just pinging up on computer. Um, <laughs> chicken and bacon wrap roll. So yeah, go for as big as much as you can. Um, drink wise, so I'm gonna be not gonna skip the the the, the snack bit. Drink wise, innocent smoothie. It's got to be the innocent smoothie because they're always really expensive, but they they, they bang every time. I've n- I've never had a bad innocent smoothie flavour. They are awesome, and they are they are incredible. Yeah, they are awesome. 
the the only time I I cursed innocent smoothies was when they did the hats for Christmas. Oh yeah, they, they put the little woolen hats. I remember that. And for some strange reason, I was going like quite regularly, and then I sub- and and other people in the office were as well. And in Yeovil, we must have had about thirty of these damn hats, and they were just <laughs> everywhere. Do you know where they got those hats from? I don't. You might you might remember this. You might not. The flumps. The flumps used to wear hats like that you might have to go some listeners to this might have to google that yeah there's a bit of a there's a little bit of a generation difference between me and jerry yeah i'm 78 <laughs> no you're not well you might be. all we'll right come I'm on to our conspiracy theory later. well yeah that's true yeah yeah that's yeah yeah we'll come on to that but yeah the flumps yeah that's going back some but for for uh, listeners that don't know google him 90s 90s cartoon oh no much sooner than that and they, and they were they look like little, I don't know. Are they the mice like on the eggs? Moon? No, but it was the same era. Okay. Um, they were the clangers. The clangers, that was it. Yeah. Ah, see, but I flumps, flumps used to wear those innocent smoothie hats. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Although there's no innocent smoothie back in the 70s, but that, that's what they wore. No, I think, actually, I'm curious. I wonder what the, uh, what when innocent smoothie was done. I've got the internet in front of me. Where could reckon? Uh, innocent smoothie... 1856. Well, uh, to be fair, 18, 18, 1886 was Coca-Cola. That's what I learned. Today. Yeah, actually, that's right. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. 98 Cambridge. Oh wow. Okay. So quite fairly old. Fairly yeah. Fair, older than I thought. That's it older than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are others that are that are older, like uh, uh, Naked Juice is 80, 1983. 90. Okay. So that's interesting. So that's your so, go-to move. That you might yeah. So fine. what? Your 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 meal deal is a, a chicken and bacon Sounds wrap, innocent smoothie, and then for the an innocent smoothie, and then the snack. So I don't always I don't go for crisps because uh, not out of health choice, but if I want a snack, I want something I'm not supposed to have. So hundred okay. percent, I'm straight for the flapjack. Yeah, flapjack's healthier than crisps, surely. Oh, I don't know. It, it depends, doesn't it? I, some of the Walker's bags of crisps now are so much, or any most crisps these days are so much air. That it's like, D- yeah, like really? <laughs> yeah, they're ninety percent air, and I'm sure they've got they've probably got a lot less saturated fat than they did when I was a kid. I'm sure they're they're a lot healthier now. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, hundred percent agree with that. You know, thinking about meal deals, I mean, you no, know, what what would, what would it have been like in medieval days, medieval times? What would a medieval Meal deal would meal be like deal look middle. like. What would that look like? So I'm on my ch- I'm on my chariot, my, or my oxen cart. <laughs> let's, let's, oxen go, cart. let's go. Let's, let's chariot, go. Let's chariot. A bit fancy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in my oxen. What are you cart. like an Instagram influencer of the <laughs> yeah. medieval times? Oh God! <laughs> on your chariot. How would you do that? I honestly, well, don't I know. Could take photo. <laughs> take a photo. I got a great quote for you later as well. Actually, that's, that's, that's <laughs> on that one. <laughs> I'm on, so I'm on my oxen cart and I've rolled rocked up to medieval version of Tesco's or or any other establishment <laughs> of that kind of generation that thing what would I what would you get I mean it's going to be something like you know horse leg horse leg <laughs> horse leg came to mind? you know how valued horses were in those well, days that's true then, uh, that's, that's turkey leg I think I think it'd be it, I think it'd be either you'd have a choice of turkey leg leg yeah. of lamb yeah and then vegetarians would probably have chicken head of lettuce Chicken. No, they, they, they wouldn't be as radical. They wouldn't be as radical as that. <laughs> just, you know, just, just turn it. I'm sorry, I'm vegetarian. I'm I'm gonna go for the chicken. <laughs> you, are you sure you don't want the lamb? No, I'm vegetarian. I'm I'm sticking to chicken. <laughs> I, honestly, because that, they used to eat a lot of meat in those days, and and chickens are very lightweight. You know. Yeah, it's true. It's a very it's light, a white, very it's a healthy. Meat, it's it? a white meat. You know. Yeah, there you go. It's got to be a white meat, not a red meat. That's that's true. Yeah, and, what, and then and then what? Potato, carrot, or turnip? I think. Yeah, you wouldn't have crisps, so you'd have to just kind of take a I bite mean, of yeah, your turkey leg. <laughs> just a, a bite of the raw potato. Bite of the raw potato. Yeah, that would work. I've now got the scene from Lord of the Rings where Samwise Gamgee is like, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> exactly, with your big long pipe, <laughs> having a yes. meal deal. Yeah, <laughs> and and. and, and what have a drink, drink. Right. Well, you'd have two choices. In fact, no. Sorry, you'll have three choices. Okay, I'm interested. Dark ale, 
<laughs> pale ale <laughs> and puddle water <laughs> if you didn't want to go <laughs> full on uh, I'm trying I... to be healthy I'm going to have the chicken <laughs> I'm going to have chicken I'm going to have turnip yeah or carrot just I'm going to leave the, the, the potato cut the carbs Senior dark. yeah yeah, <laughs> cut the carbs. Cut the carbs. Carbs are the enemy, and I'm I'm just gonna go for some puddle water. So that'll be good. A puddle. That will do me. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's an interesting. I suppose you know on the flip side of that, <laughs> what what do you, what do you reckon the future of it's going to be then? Uh, it, it, you just go in and just have to choose between. It'll almost be like the Matrix, wouldn't it? Red pill, blue pill. Oh, you reckon? You reckon? Yeah, it'll that. all be wrapped up in one tiny little pill, like well, Star Trek. I suppose in the future they had that like the only way I can I can I can describe it is it's like co- soggy cornflakes was what they had in the, <laughs> in that film didn't they yeah. where they where it was you know he's like it's like got vitamins minerals proteins and synthesize everything that their body needs and that's when mouse goes it's not got everything <laughs> the body needs <laughs> it's like woman the red dress yep. um and that was like prison slop wasn't it that was like really yeah. watery porridge well, I always think it looks like soggy cornflakes, which, by the way, is uh, soggy cereal is one of the m- my least favorite things to have. Like, if you're gonna have, I, I, I have cereal in the morning, bowl of Cheerios, and with milk, but I have to, I have to eat it as quick as possible, so the cereal doesn't get soggy. <laughs> there you go. That's one of my interesting like OCD facts that I have. Is like I can't stand soggy cereal. We, I, I didn't know that about you, Dom. <laughs> Every day is a learning day. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, one thing I will say about cereal, because have you ever so when when cereal then dries, so the cereal that in the that's in the bowl that you don't finish, mm. have you ever tried scraping any of that off the bowl? I mean, uh, it is it's like forget granite. gorilla glue or you know you you could literally build aircraft. <laughs> yeah, with uh, dried cereal. The worst was univer- the So the what's the what do you reckon is the worst for scraping off? It'll have to be either cornflakes or Weetabix, I think. I've got one that is the worst. Guarantee it. Shreddies. Shreddies? Yeah, okay. so if Shreddies have gone soggy and they peel, they go to the bottom of the bowl <laughs> and then you they, you let them... So um, in my old university house, the window overlooked the um, overlooked our sink. We had a really nice view from our kitchen. Like, it was quite nice. But the sun came in. So if, if a housemate... I'd like to point out... My housemates were really good when I was at university, apart from cleaning. They were awful at cleaning. Um, and so, you know, they'd leave the, that out and it would dry up the, you know, the little splodge of milk in the bomb. And then it would, it would make it like granite. Like, yeah, it's like what? And it's like, I think there has been one, there was one time I was like, I can't be asked and just put the bowl in the bin because I was like, that's just never going to come off. Yeah, because you, you'd have to let it soak for a week, wouldn't you? In bleach. Yeah. And even then, you'd be hard pressed to get the with last like a gas mark coming <laughs> with the rubber gloves. <laughs> you wouldn't get those last remnants of shreddies off your bowl. No, That'd never. Be, that's brutal. Yeah, it. And you could you could actually use them to you could build foundations for houses. Yeah, things on dried shreddies. So it's, it's versatile and we organic. Could, we could, yeah, we just solved the construction industry. There you go. That's a feature. There we Sustainable. Go. Construction. We, we have officially we've contributed to society on our first get in. podcast, Jerry. Get in. <laughs> we've done it. <laughs> and do you know what it ties in neatly with? I think back to the to the medieval meal deal. Yeah. You know, putting what would dessert be? It'd be like cheeky wheat. That's literally all they had. It didn't have anything else, did they? Cheeky no, wheat. This is where my mind is going at the moment, and my slightly you know t- Friday tired feeling. I was going to say Margaret Thatcher, but it's not. What's her name? Margaret. How did we go from cheeky I, wheat? I, I'll explain when we get there. It's okay. not Margaret Thatcher. Who was the, who was the last female prime minister that we had? I can't think of her name. Uh, Theresa May. Theresa and she May. did. She had that thing about frolicking through a wheat field, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> That's where my mind went. It's when he said cheeky wheat. I was Thanks. like, Thanks. Oh, does every all the medieval people are going to be frolicking through these wheat fields? So. If you can afford to eat it, you can you can buy it. If not, you can frolic. <laughs> Years I've been trying to get that image out of my head. <laughs> I'm just putting Thanks, Tom. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. It's going to be another three years now before I can extricate that from my mind. But yes, you're right. Frolicking in wheat fields. Nice. 
There's an endearing image. There's an endearing image. Sorry, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. right, shall we move to poignant questions? Before yeah, let's do it. I love yeah, it. let's I love do it. it. So, completely random. Like, I took me inspiration from the what's good. So, I don't. we don't have a light to turn on and off, and we're only doing aud- auditory only, um, unless my dreams come true, which <laughs> Jerry will laugh at based yeah. on it, <laughs> which I will explain. <clears throat> so, You're going to have to explain that. <laughs> so, I had a dream three nights ago that, well, we, we've been planning this podcast for probably about a month now. And I had a dream that I, and I'm going to send this to my friends and they're all going to laugh at me for years. Um, <laughs> but I had a dream that we'd, we'd set this up in, in the back of an office type thing. Well, like a, in a studio. Um, and we had like a conference table and the conference table I use is the one that we have in um, our work, in our Yeovil head office at work, um, which is interesting. And, and then <laughs> and Jerry was there and I was there and I was sat and we were recording a podcast with a camera. So visual, yeah, you get to see what we look like. Um, but I had my daughter sitting on my knee and I'm like, I like to point out I'm single. <laughs> and I don't have any children. So I was like, I don't know where this dream came from. So <laughs> manifestation. So, yeah, manifestation. Maybe. May, may Easier done than said. Easier done than said. I like that. <laughs> I that's good. You like that? Yeah. That's really good. Easier done that. than said. That's that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right. So yeah, these. So you can't see us switching on and off. Uh, any anything. So, but we're probably going to do more opinions than like directly on or off. Although, and and I think when we get to number ten, and I've been hinted at it for ages, me and Jerry may fall out. <laughs> we yeah, we, we, we are. Won't. We won't. We will have a. We'll have a. We'll have in a, a very a, nice way. Yeah, we'll have a good discussion. <laughs> We will, but it'll be gladiatorial. <laughs> gladiatorial. On, on, on that tenth point, I'm, I'm warning you now. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> get you bring bring it on, bring it on. I, I come with a. Ch- are you the oxen cart or am I the oxen cart? You're, the, you're I, more I, of a chariot man, definitely. I yeah, I do, yeah maybe maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah chariot. Right. Okay, chariot with those, those funny spikes that come out. And, look, just bring it on. To yeah. Point ten. You just. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm you're ready right. to rumble. You were born ready, was that it? Yeah, oh, I was born ready. Yeah. And by the way, to j- yeah, these are all just our opinions, and opinions like belly buttons, and uh, everyone's got one. So, yeah, yeah. But not everybody cleans theirs. That's very true. <laughs> That's a great. There we go. <laughs> right, first one. Good. Apple products. <laughs> let's go before it goes. Right. Let's right. right. Okay. Apple products. Go for it. I mean, I'm I, I'm a big fan. I I I, I own a Mac. I own uh, iPhone. Um, I obviously I stream and I, I game a lot, so I have my Windows PC. Um, so absolutely, I wouldn't replace it. I, I'm like a, I want the best of all the things. Can I? Uh, do I see use for an iPad? I don't have a use for an iPad, so I don't know. Yeah, I struggle with. Yeah, but yeah. they're so expensive, and so the headphone jack. That was a big deal until I got wireless headphones, and now I'm like, I don't really need a headphones. Yeah, effect, true. So I'm okay. You, you, you're so, you're, you're struggling. Yeah. You're struggling. Okay, so so I'll, I'll tell you where I struggle. By the way, I I think Apple are an amazing organisation, and hmm. uh, um, you know they're, they're more than welcome to send me a very large check in the post for endorsing all of their products. Um, <laughs> the address will be at the end of this uh, podcast. Um, and uh, you just make it out to no, I'm joking. So, um, so no, honestly, on, on a serious note, actually, I love Apple products. So, so the crazy thing is, I'm looking at you on a laptop, but I'm I've got all my notes and everything on a Mac, MacBook Air, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So, the only thing I have a problem with is the Apple phone. I, that, that's okay, right? So, so I just think it's one of those products that they they. They just need to step away, and I know people <laughs> get really upset by that. But I just don't. They're overrated. They're overrated. I think I, I think overrated. I agree. I agree. Like I think everyone raves about them. I'm like, it does what I need it to do, and most of the functions that I use on that phone are not Apple specific. Like you know WhatsApp, Spotify. You know they're not they're not Apple specific. They're they're third party companies, so I could quite easily switch to like Android. And, yeah and so right it's a much more intuitive operating system i mean android is 
Everybody I've spoken yeah. to says it's a much more intuitive operating system. Apple's very closed. It's very proprietary. Yeah. You've got yeah, to, yeah, yeah. you know, and that, and that's annoying. They're, they're I find that really highway. annoying. Yeah, 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 exactly that. Yeah. But the thing that was interesting that you've written in the notes is to do with the peripherals as well. So, yeah. like, the biggest problem I find, like, so if you go back five years when I bought my iPhone, I got, like, you get a pair of headphones, you get a, uh, is it 16 volt charge? Like, uh, yeah and a cable yeah. Yeah. now you get a cable and that's it yeah no, no, nothing like that and it's and it's uh, you know about 50 percent more than it used to be yeah and you were yeah. like oh yeah every, go samsung go i know until 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 we i managed to finally convince my daughter who's almost 18 i Managed to finally, after all of these years, convince her to move away from Apple. She said, right, I'm going for the Samsung okay. S21 Plus. I said, yeah, awesome. Brilliant. And my wife said, yeah. Yeah, I want a piece of that action. So she went for a <laughs> Samsung Galaxy uh, uh, S21 Ultra. Galaxy? Uh, Jerry's 21 bank. Ultra. <laughs> Jerry's accountant went, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, my accountant quit. She said, I can't do this anymore. I've had enough. You do what you want. Just do what you want. You're hemorrhaging money. So, th- anyway, the phones arrived and we opened them up. Said, Look at this. Yeah. The Samsung, brilliant. Because you get all of the extra. Uh, all right, it's just a cable. <laughs> so, I'm literally tearing this box apart, saying, I'm sure there's a plug in here somewhere. I'm sure there's some headphones in it. There's got to be some headphones in here somewhere. Nope. Um, so, yeah. okay, I can't use that. So, so, all I've got to hang my hat off now is the fact that it's a much more intuitive operating system. I, I, I just find Samsung phones a lot easier to... They're, they're just easier to operate. Yeah, I much prefer them. And and I think I got stung in like the, the 10-year-old Samsung laptop era where they put so much bloatware into yeah. it. And just like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So. But, you know, if somebody said to me, <clears throat> you know, that, okay, the only phone you're going to get from now on smartphone is going to be apple mm. an apple phone i kid you not i'll say fine give me a nokia 3310 <laughs> now we're talking yeah now you're talking i'll use that I, with I with the game that. snake yeah do you remember snake and parachute yeah. oh i don't remember parachute that, oh parachute was awesome i, but, I didn't but, have a 3310 i will admit that oh, so you missed out. so the 3310 was the little one with the plastic case wasn't it yeah, and then that's there was right. A, another one. I can't remember if it was like it was like thirty three thirty or thirty three twenty or something like that. And it was a little bit larger, um, and it had like a, a metallic case. And it's a bit more like it was. It only came in one color. Yes, and, I remember and it, that. And it was more likely to be used by office workers. And like yes. it was a hand me down from my dad. So my dad got it, and then the company it was a company phone. And then they went, oh, we can't be bothered to take them back and try and recycle them. Just keep the old phone. Here's a new one. And I was like, well. At the time, I must have been fourteen, so I was just getting to the age. I was like, okay, I need a phone. You know, where I where my parents live is out in the sticks, so nearest bus stop was a mile and a half away. So I'd be like, okay, I need a phone to you know let them know to come pick me up, etc. Um, and it didn't have it had Snake, and it had like this <laughs> side sc- side scroller like shoot shooting game, a bit like an on the arcade where you know you don't move from this left hand edge; you've just got to move up and down. And avoid the obstacles and shoot whatever's coming towards you. Oh, and so that was a, which, and, it, and obviously, I held the whole, the the a high score, but you know it was probably pitiful because it, you weren't competing with them just before internet. So. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably, you yeah, probably have that. Yeah, I'm sure there there'll be millions of people out there with a lot more free time on their hands that yeah, yeah. probably got a high score ten well, times you, better you than yours. Complete old. snake. I didn't know that. Yeah, so if I, you I get to the point where this, if you get to the point where the snake owns every every single square, and you hit the last dot without crashing into yourself, you complete snake. Oh no way! I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, I've never d- done it. D- <laughs> d- yeah, well, it's impossible. I, I, but technically, I suppose yeah. it isn't. But yeah. it pretty much is. I mean, who the hell's going to manage to to get to that point? But but what I loved about the Nokia is that you could, you know, it had a, a standby time of about a week talk time was like three days you could drop this thing it would break into all its individual components you just pick up all the little pieces click it back into place and you had a phone again you'd switch it back on job yeah. done job done 
And I love removable you know, I said, batteries. Removable batteries. You know, I, I miss the days when you used to be able to speak on the phone for like 15 minutes and literally your, your ear would look like a, a <laughs> rasher of grilled bacon. Oh, those are the days. In, interestingly, <laughs> how quick were you at texting? Oh, I was awesome at it. Yeah. It, it, it's getting the timing. It's getting the timing yeah. between a, if you've got to do like a C and then an A. Yeah. You know, you one, two, three, and then a one, but you've got to time it to the split second because if you press it too quickly, then... So know, I, I did have an experience a couple of years ago where I had to use one of them again. I, d I haven't oh. forgotten the muscle memory. <laughs> oh, I have. So my uh, dad wanted me to text his gardener and I tried and it literally took me 15 minutes just to send a message to say yes Tuesday <laughs> is fine because I I literally I just kept cycling but oh damn it <laughs> damn it no, cycling I, I seen, past I was just like straight in I was like oh yeah I remember to do this weird yeah my my muscle well, obviously you've got a better memory than I have my muscles <laughs> haven't got a decent I haven't got a decent <laughs> memory for anything I, I look I've reached that stage in life where I think oh yeah I've got to go upstairs I've I've just got to grab that, whatever it is. I don't know. It could be a hairbrush. And then I'll go up to the top of the stairs and go, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was up here for a reason. I don't know why. And then you start walking down the stairs. You get to the bottom stairs and go, oh, yeah, hairbrush. <laughs> and then you go back up. And then you have that moment again. I mean, who the hell? I, that's actually the dog's looking at you like, eh? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, great. I'm stuck in the house with this muppet. <laughs> I don't know, I can't God take this. Help me. Voice. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why people are so upset about that. Uh, just, just for the purposes of uh, listeners that don't know what we're talking about here. So we, we, we host a weekly quiz. And um, and it was a round on the, uh, uh, on the Muppets. And, yeah, it was a very, very emotive. It obviously turned out to be a very emotive subject. And people said, oh, great, the Muppets. I don't know any of them. They didn't even... I think... Only one person knew Pepe the Prawn, and he's my favourite Muppet. He's such an awesome Muppet. Oh, I knew none of them. I mean, it, oh. uh, when we say Muppets, we're not talking like Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. We're talking about all the left obscure characters, and I was Pepe like, Pepe the Prawn. Not know Pepe any of the them. Prawn. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Pepe the Prawn. He's a legend. He's a legend. Oh, I'd never Scooby Doo. <laughs> right, yeah, should we move the second one? Yes, yes, moisturising. Moisturising. I mean, your comment just says did that today, but I don't yeah. know what you wrote that. Yeah, look, I do it. Okay, it, it's, and I don't do it for vanity. I actually, you know, I, I do it because I can sometimes see my skin's really dry and I think, okay, what the hell, let's moisturise. It, it actually feels good. And, 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 and do you know what? I, I, was, I was surprised at that. Well, not the surprise in, the, in, a, in a bad way, but in like a... Oh, that's interesting. Because like it's such a taboo subject for for men to be a yeah. little bit self caring about themselves. I have what I call um I do self care Sundays. Okay. So on on a Sunday I will I will scrub. So you know I, I you know you have a shower oh, but you scrub. Okay. Yeah, but, but you know you like you, you um I'll have like a you know I've got some body gel and stuff that's a little bit more expensive. Um, that I only use on Sundays. I'll, you know, I cut my hair, get the beard, but also like, you know, trim it. Just, you know, and and, and every, uh, you know, do all the things. There and you then, go. you know, do things like, you know, moisturize the elbows, especially the the bottoms of the elbows. The elbows moisturize are right. Moisturize the elbows. Um, You're taking this to the next level, yeah, yeah, Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know, I'll do the insides deliberately because that's like a little bit of eczema. But like the uh, the elbows specifically are, as I find, are something that gets really. What's the t polite term for it? F flaky? <laughs> Something like that. Is this like is that. this like a is this is this like in Taekwondo? So if you go to if you go to elbow somebody in the face, they think, oh, do you know what? <laughs> that bloody so hurt. But, <laughs> but that that bruise is nice and moisturised now on my face. Is that is that how it works? Interesting fact. Like interesting thing. <laughs> so taekwondo, we don't. So elbows would be more for self defence. So like our like our sparring is obviously only hands and feet. Um, but my PT the other day did did say to me. He says, "You have the least dry elbows I've ever seen." <laughs> That's that? a genuine quote from my PT the other day. So what are the chances of that? So th this is it. So if your PT listens to this podcast, <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, it's like. Hmm. 
Yes, but yes. Moisturized so, oh, se- okay. self care, you know, self care Sundays, you know, full full body scrub, you know, making sure everything's all all tidy and all good. So, yeah, and I think it's it's a good thing to do, and it's not talked about enough. Can, yeah, I agree with you. Can I just say, by the way, then if if you're having to scrub, then you're obviously not showering properly because again, it needs to be hot enough to take That's off the, the top That's three true. layers of no. skin, and in which case you don't need to scrub. So, well, I mean, when I say scrub, it's not like extra cleaning. That's like proper exfoliating, get rid of all the dead skin. Yeah, but you just like want that. to burn it off with searing hot water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I try and do for the, the rest of yeah. the week. <laughs> you want to come out looking kind of like a lobster. <laughs> Parboiled lobster. That's what you want. Then you know you've had a really good shower. I'm going to mention this and she's going to kill me if she ever hears this. But that's that's the nickname of one of my friends. She's got, yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. auburn hair. <laughs> So she's like half vampire. So she goes out in the sun and it's like instant red. You're in deep doo doo now. Yeah, I know. I can already track hear you down. Her. I can already hear. Her. Can we move on? Before we yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's, for the sake of your, your, well, your welfare, <laughs> forget moisturizing. You're going to be on the run. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to the third one. I, look, you chose this. Yeah. I mean, I know it's you're a no a brainer. I, yeah, it's a no brainer. It's I don't like brainer. avocado. Right, so confession. I don't like avocado, but I want to like avocado. Does that make sense? No. So, I I, I, I want to be as healthy as possible, and avocados are very, very good for you. They're fantastic uh, for you. Yeah. And there's there's a few other foods that also sit in this. So the, the two main ones are avocados and mushrooms. But oh, I love mushrooms as well. But I can't stand either of them. And it's not like it's not like something I'm like I just eat them and I don't like them. It's a genuinely my it like tastes really vile. Brussels sprouts are the is, is another one again. It's like it's like eating arsenic. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. But okay, <laughs> that's, that's the best way to describe it. But I'm a bit so my 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 thought process is I'd love to like it. I'd love to be like yes, I want some avocado, and not in some kind of millennial way, but in a genuine. I want something healthy, and I want a snack that isn't because otherwise I normally put. Because the other thing, the other one I'd want is any as I, I refer to them as nut butters. So it seems like <laughs> okay, but but peanuts, almonds. Oh, I can't stand nuts. Yeah. Whereas I'd love to be able to sort of get you know a slice of avocado on toast and a sl- and, and a and a slice of like peanut butter on toast because they're like perfect almost perfect like macros and nutrients for some of the taekwondo stuff i do and i can't stand either of them yeah dom yeah i i feel for you i have to say because i mean avocado oh it's so versatile it's brilliant i love yeah. it and peanut butter for goodness sake you no, know I've... reese's pieces no i can't i can't stand them peanut butter on toast yeah. so i have a i have oh. an i have an ex um and uh she she used to be really horrible to me because what she'd do is she'd eat they peanut butter they double trouble be... <laughs> they got, now you've got listen. two people she, after you she won't listen to this podcast I haven't spoken are you to sure her about that you're going to yeah, have I'm two very, people very, after I'm you I'm very very sure plus if she did come after me as I, I, you know I me mean, I try and be as kind as possible but she she's one that could murder me in my sleep um, nice <laughs> in a, in nice. a yeah, anyway in a good um, way in a good yeah. way but she used to she used to be like she'd eat pe- a peanut butter sandwich and then she'd be like come here I want a kiss and I could that's the sandwich I, I couldn't stand it but like, you've eaten peanut butter oh, really? stay away I from me love, I that. love peanut butter oh love a bit of peanut butter oh suits you sir yeah love peanut butter but I'd love to okay avocado well okay so so plain avocado on toast for you or is there a, do you have a secret recipe season it season it with a bit of garlic salt that's always good garlic, garlic salt and a bit of pepper Right, because oh, avocado okay. hasn't really got that much taste. So, what you're kind of pinning your hopes on is, you know, you you've got to like the texture of it because it is a bit mushy and a bit mm. slimy. So that's the thing, I because I can't eat bananas when they're mushy. Right, so that's texture. avocado, and I, and I can't eat like mashed potatoes because it causes me to gag. Okay, well, I think that's the problem. Yeah, but season them, season them, put okay. put some garlic salt or something on it. it honestly. I've been told changer. chili flakes are really good. Yeah, chili flakes are amazing. Chili flakes okay. on avocado is amazing. Yeah, try it. Maybe I need to try it. Maybe yeah. I need to try it. I'll, I'll have to get someone who's a much better cook than I am. I know I know who to 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 to, to ask for that. And, okay. Yeah, she spends half her time sending me pictures of her food, and I'm going, that looks really good, but I'm not near to. Eat yeah, that. Dom. Honestly, and once you get the taste for it, 
Oh, it's lovely. That's avocado. Then, then we'll move on to peanut. Let's conquer avocado first. Peanut is peanut butter is, is a is a tasting that is like a it's like a uh, just okay. Maybe we can't overcome that. Yeah, because you can't that, you don't season that with anything. Yeah. That you just and have it. mushrooms is the other ones I'd love to you know get a full oh, English mushrooms. Mushrooms. mushrooms can't do it. <sighs> love oh. mushrooms, but okay. Yeah. All right. right next enough. one. Tattoos. What's your opinion on tattoos? Well, all I'm gonna do is uh, okay. Well. I'm going to answer your question with a question, which is like the most annoying thing in the world, but I'm going to okay. do it. Have you got I any tattoos? I haven't got any, and I would like some, but I have a problem of, with with getting some. So I would. So I have. Uh, I, I have a small uh, like a social group where there's four of us in, and all three of them have tattoos. Um, this uh, is myself, my, one of my, my best mates who I've known for 25 years, and he has he has taekwondo uh, down the middle of his back, um, and he has a couple of other ones around. And the one down his back looks is really, really it's not very artistic. It's very quite plain actually, and looks great. Um, and then the other two ladies, they have them in you know personal places for for them and, and things like that. Um, and I would absolutely love a tattoo, but because I don't know what, I can't put it on. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So, so, go on then. Okay. Well, I've got a question. question. Have you? I, okay. You yeah. So, you probably won't be able to see. I this can't now. see because the zoom camera. I'm going to have to take. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the background off. Let me take the background off. For 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 clarity, myself and Jerry are using our Teams applications to see each other, but we've got our mic set up to go through our recording thing. That's uh, the one. So oh, I've got. Yeah, look at that. So it's the eye of Horace. Okay. And I've got C for the initial for my wife, R mm -hmm. for the initial of my daughter, and like an infinity symbol okay. between that. Eye of Horace? So Egyptian. Um, uh, it's an Egyptian symbol, and it's a, a symbol of protection. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. That. And I got it very late in life. I actually got I got that in my mid-30s. Okay. So it's not too late enough. for me yet. No, no, they're, they're never too late. I've, I've got a friend of mine that got a tattoo. She's in her fifties. Okay, She's got a very first tattoo. It's, it's, so. it's interesting because so like, and and for clarity, I, I'm very happy talking about all of my mental health that I have done for for years, and and uh, and Jerry knows a little bit about my history. Um, so you know, we want to be distinct and jovial. So I will be you know brief, but I I'm I'm happy to be open, and this is all in the past. So. You, you might not, Jerry might not be able to see, but my, my left arm, unfortunately, due to uh, my previous history, I'm scarred from my shoulder down to my, to my wrist. Um, I am also scarred from my neck down to the back of my legs. Um, some of that is because um, apparently I was put in a rack and just gone. Whoosh, so some of it is uh, unfortunately um, stretch marks. I have as many stretch marks, if not more, as some pregnant women, uh, and some of them are scars. Um, which means that I've always wanted to do a cover-up ish because sometimes right. I'm a little bit like proud of it. it's like okay this is the thing that I fought and I won you know I had the battle with self harming and I was like oh I fought and I won and, and that's quite mm. cool but on the other other side I'm like oh, but I would love to like cover it and you know as almost like a memento as well yeah um, but I'm like I don't think I could cover from like my left wrist to the back of my right knee I think that's a bit excessive for your first tattoo it yeah, it'd be a bit yakuza, wouldn't it? You'd yes. have to, yeah, you have like full body art. Yeah, yeah. Which, to a certain extent, I've 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 toyed with the idea. The other bit, I suppose, um, is actually going to perhaps more 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 current stuff. Tattoo parlors to me always have like this, how do you call it? Um, stigmatism for being a bit rough, and yeah. I've never ever, and I, I'm honest to God, I've never ever had the confidence to just walk into a tattoo parlor. I would never do it. I don't, I just, it just doesn't perceive really? to me in that mind. Yeah, yeah okay. because I've got this stereotypical thing. Now I know <clears throat> uh, the person that I mentioned that sends their food. She is going to be if she ever if she listens to this, she'll be howling at this point, going, "What is wrong with you?" <laughs> like, and uh, the, when I go and visit her, she, the first thing that I could see her doing is like, "Let's go and make sure that you know." I promise this is okay um, in 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 a good way. She, um, she'll get you completely drunk. You'll end up in a tattoo parlor. Do, don't do not suggest that to her because she will get you completely drunk. <laughs> oh, I've just suggested it. It's out there now. There's no there's no unsuggesting that. This is if this was live, it'd be even better. Be it's done. It's out there now. 
Someone's going to get you drunk. Yeah, I'd like to point out, I have control of the editing, so I can take this out if I wanted to. I'm not going to. We're going to to have this pure. Maybe with the outtakes at the beginning. Maybe not. Yeah, that's, well, yeah maybe uh, not. I not don't know. After what I mentioned at the beginning. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we'll focus on next week's, or, or, or the next podcast out, outtakes. Let's do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'll snip it and have it at the end. Fair enough. What, what worries me, or what concerns me about tattoos as well, but I've always thought this, is when, when somebody goes and says, um, you know, for example, they'll get Chinese or Japanese or, mm. you know, Egyptian symbols or you know, Arabic symbols on, the, on their arm or, or their leg or their back. And you think, do you really know if that's saying what you think it's saying? Have you ever been on the subreddit? Um, is it uh, wrong tattoos or something like that? There's a subreddit around it. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. And, I've, got, I've got to look that up. And, and, and it's just people translating <laughs> people's tattoos. And it's like, yeah, you've got like order number 46. On your, <laughs> Sweet and sour your, chicken. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I thought it meant... Yes, health and happiness, Gen- and it's genuinely that's what they have. Genuinely because, sweet because you, and sour chicken. Because you also see it the other way. Have you ever? Because you see it on uh, Chinese or Asian T-shirts, they'll put English phrases on without knowing what they mean, but they'll be like literal translations. Yeah, I suppose the Chinese. it could work the other way. Yeah, yeah, and and there are. That's the reason why you get so many swear words on uh, <laughs> children's Asian T-shirts is because somebody's just done a translation and doesn't actually oh, understand what bad. the English meant. That's bad. And, and, that's and, bad. But it, that's what it, so it works both ways because you have to remember not all of us think immediately in English. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, it yeah. Could, well, so that was what. Yeah, that that would worry me. That would worry me. So I'd ha- I'd have to be really confident about what what. Yeah. But if I'm having writing, you know, yeah. I want to I want to be confident that 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 says what it, what I think it says. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Uh, yeah, well, so one of my friends I know hers are she's only got English writing from memory and and the rest of pictures. Um, um, and obviously the taekwondo uh, writing is very very well known because that's I mean it's printed on our uniform so it's literally, yeah. it's literally in fact where it's positioned is about exactly where it's positioned on our, on our uniform so it's almost as if someone's just traced it through through the uniform oh, do you that's know what a- but Dom that would be brilliant right that would be a good starting point if you if you want to think of the safest tattoo to go mm. for that for you that would be Yes. spot on wouldn't it right yeah. go go for the start at the safest point and then move on to things like koi carp yeah. the kraken yeah grabbing sure a giant ship putting it down <laughs> yeah pro- probably not the kraken not based on what we know from work coming. yeah 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 <laughs> i can't i can't take like anything mentioned of the kraken series the kraken that's very true yeah forget that forget <laughs> angry sea creatures but but you know you could take this to a whole new level dragons yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to think about it, it's, and this is, okay. this is good because I kind of genuinely am like, oh, I wonder what that. Yeah, that, genuinely, it, yeah. that that would be a good starting point, and just you know, it's something that that you know, it's really passion. poignant and meaningful and passionate. Yeah, yeah. Th- it's your passion. It's something that you've been doing for years. That's the safest starting point, and then just mm. see how you feel after yeah. that. And you might just say, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. There you go. I might have uh, convinced you to convince me otherwise to get to get a tattoo without getting you blind drunk, and <laughs> you end up in a tattoo parlor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, piercings, I will not do. I will yeah, do. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like. I like not to be stabbed. Although I did want, I they, I did want a, a, an earring in my left ear. So this is, this is going back to the days of George Michael when he released the oh, Faith okay. album. Right, so good album. at the front of the yeah, it's an awesome album. Right, so he's he's there with his jacket, and he's got this this dangly earring with a cross on it. And I thought, oh, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, I want a slice of that action. Uh, mm. But my parents kind of Who very quickly one? set the record straight. <laughs> Something along the lines of you know uh, you know nice supportive words like um, if you do that, we're going to kick you out of the house. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, just subtle. It was subtle. It was nice. You know, afterwards you kind of think, "Oh, what? I wonder what they meant." There's no flim flam with that. Though. There is no flim flam. <laughs> no, my parents were very uh, bosh. Have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want an earring? Yeah. No. F- absolutely fine. You you go for it, and then uh, you won't have a roof over your head. Very, very which, progressive, which, my parents. I know which one you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Number five. Number five. Uh, drinking milk. This is, ra- I mean, honestly. So, Dom, when I what? say, this, 
I like I said, like, some of these are some of these are going to be a bit. They like are that. proper random. So when I this one not like obviously if you've got milk in your cereal, milk and a cup of tea, right? That's totally fine. But I mean, do you sit down with a you know a pint of milk? Yeah, I used, used yeah, to. Yeah, I used to drink. Yeah, I used to drink a serious amount of milk. When did you did you stop when you became an adult or? Oh no no no! I stopped I stopped drinking a ridiculous amount of milk about ten years ago. Okay. But I used to drink I used to drink almost a pint of milk just neat, <laughs> neat yeah. every night. I loved it. But but yeah, I'd have to have a pint of milk with dairy milk. That was, you know, <laughs> with chocolate. Was, that, but the chocolate. Oh yeah, with chocolate. Oh, so yes, that's a combo. That's a combo and a half. Yeah. But I over the years I found I, I probably. I've got a bit of a, a lactose <laughs> intolerance, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and a bit, and a bit, a bit wheat intolerant as well. So, um, you know, but that that's kind of only been in the last ten years. So that's what prompted me to stop drinking milk. My, so my mum had, this, my mum and my dad both had the same, you know, in their late thirties, kind of coming onto the yeah, you know, that's about right. 40, you know, forties. Yeah. They were like, can't drink milk, can't. And my mum is now totally like, she's gluten free, completely. Um, and my dad um, so my dad will have still have cereal but he'll have like a, you know a small amount of milk my uncle he'll have orange juice in his cornflakes whoa whoa <laughs> you're better off having beer surely I don't know mm. I'm sure I have beer that. that's okay I honestly <laughs> I've left his speeches I've, on that one haven't you I? have I'm lost for words <laughs> What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend about a minute explaining in words how lost for words I am. <laughs> but I, I am lost for words. But coming, like for me, because I, I, I agree, I still do drink milk. In fact, when I mentioned I had two bananas before this podcast, and this, <laughs> right. this, so I, 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 I've remembered one other thing. So uh, two bananas give you enough energy for a 90-minute workout. Easy, easy, easy. And they're, and they're really good because um, they have the correct amount of potassium if you're exercising a lot, they're good to recover your electrolytes. Okay. And, but I, and it's all connected. This is really weird. I obviously can't eat, I can't eat mushy food. So I can't eat mashed potato because it makes me gag. I can't eat bananas sometimes because they make me gag. Um, and that's not just because of the shape of them. That's that's generally when they're a bit too mushy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. <So what? laughs> I, didn't, I didn't give you any warning for that, did I? <laughs> no. So I don't know. How the hell do you eat banana? What, what do you have to so, do? Do you have to... Snort so it or something. You powder, <laughs> Stop. Dry no, no, it. Do you dry it in no, the oven? No, no, no. Grind it into I've a just, powder. Uh, two bananas, 400 milliliters of milk is a perfect amount for a good banana milk. Oh, nice banana milkshake. Nice. Yeah. So there you I go. Like there's your style. two bananas and the milk. So there's your protein, your, your, your little bit of potassium, uh, all your electrolytes. And that's why I'm good to go. You know, I've had nice. two bananas and some milk. Nice. Well, on the subject of milk, you see, so so in my house, quite frankly, it's a bloody nightmare because um, I, I dread it now making a cup of tea. So there's right. only me, my wife, and my daughter. Yeah. But this is the the routine I have to go through. Uh, who who fancies a cup of tea? Oh yeah, I'll have a cup. <laughs> so I've got to put out three cups. Yeah. And then three tea bags. And that's fine. You yeah. think okay. That's straightforward. Okay, it's all in the right then, order as well so far. All in the right order, yeah, which is good. Um, but one of them's got to have almond or oat milk. So my daughter likes oat milk. Okay. My wife likes soy milk. And I just like regular old cow's milk. But it's just then having to use different spoons as well. Cause you don't oh, want they're to that fussy that as well. I mean, honestly. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, it just is, you know, it, I, I love tea. But it's almost like I have to make it in secret. It's almost like, okay, we're off to bed now. Yeah, good night. And then put the kettle on. Yeah. But I'll have to like, put the duvet over the kettle so they can't hear it. <laughs> my, I, mom I, I just... so my, <laughs> my mum and my dad are, well, they're, they're hot drink fiends. Yeah, I love a good hot oh, drink. My mum my, my absolutely adores a cup of tea. Uh, and I mean, she proper adores Who a cup doesn't? of tea. Who I doesn't? Mean, Who I, doesn't? I mean, I Well, so, uh, I, obviously, I can't, I can't have caffeine. Um, for, for those who don't know, I, I'm I'm intolerant to caffeine. Of all the substances in the world, that's, that's the one I'm intolerant. Shocking, to. great. Um, 
But I've never been a hot drinks fan massively but i kind of do you know it sits in the same category with avocado and mushroom i'd love to be a hot drinks fan i'd love to be part of that this this is this is really i'm just exposing all my social anxieties i want to be the one that can go into work and go who fancies a cup of tea yeah let's go and have a cup of tea that's what that's the type of person i want to be and i don't get to be that it's weird i'm totally weird you can get decaffeinated tea yeah and actually um i went for a um I went for a walk in the second lockdown with an old colleague who was actually trying to convince to come back, but he took the correct offer away from us, unfortunately, because they were offering more money. Um, and I, I had a decaf tea. <laughs> there was only there was one issue: the decaf tea. It must well, it was bigger than a, the Sports Direct mug. <laughs> and for those of you that are in the UK and know what the Sports Direct mug is, it holds about seventeen liters. You knock it over and you drown. Um, yeah, it's larger than a than what? a car this, this petrol was, tank, isn't it? For some strange reason, it must have been must have been easy seven and a half seven hundred and fifty mils to a liter. It was massive, but it was really, really, really good. And I was like, I actually I thought maybe I can do this thing, but I, I you know, and it was a de- it was a decaf tea, and I don't I must have I must have also just mixed it right. You know, I've just got the right amount of milk and the right no sugar, but the right amount of milk. St- you know, hit stirred the sweet at the spot. right amount, and it just hit the sweet spot. Um, obviously, unfortunately, because there was like a liter of it, you know, you're walking around and thinking, "Blimey, this liter of water's <laughs> got to go somewhere, isn't it?" Oh, Jesus, but uh, yeah, I had a without giving too much away. I, I had a bath once in one of those Sports Direct mugs, <laughs> and I think that's why I haven't been able to have one since. <laughs> we'll get onto that, which is nice. But we'll get onto that. Right, number six, theme parks. Yeah, again, just random, just theme parks. So, <clears throat> okay, here's my random thought, right? So mm. what, what if you had a theme park? Because theme parks, always, you know, they're always quite spectacular, aren't they? The, the, there always has to be some kind of a wow factor to a theme park mm. where, you know, you rock up and you think, oh, that's amazing, you know? And then and then you've got the coaster that's kind of the centerpiece for it. And mm. yeah, you've got the different themes right clues in the title of the theme park but what if you you know what if you just turn that on its head what if you had like really boring mundane theme parks like you could have an office theme park <laughs> I've so you could have like, offices sometimes like that <laughs> well no but i was thinking how about this as a concept like so so you have you have roller coasters yeah that basically you just you just sit there and it's just like a normal desk and you have a, a laptop like virtual reality screwed work. into the desk and and then the challenge is that you've got to You've got to type a coherent email <laughs> whilst the coaster's doing loop the loops and stuff. I mean, I can't type a coherent email just in my standard. Well, exactly, day. <laughs> and I can't either, right? So I'm struggling. There's me with my two finger typing because uh, I'm just I'm old school. But and there's no school like the old school. But but can you imagine that? Or or you know, having a trying to have a Skype call whilst you're on on a coaster, and then you have to share your screen. So, so this would be really cool. Like you'd, you'd share, have to do, like you have to share yeah. your screen without going. Oh no, I have to. You have to do a successful day of a calls without somebody going. You're on mute. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. And and you know you have to you have to share your screen. You have to do a presentation. You have to do a PowerPoint presentation whilst on the coaster. But you got to yeah you know, successfully do that. These are all the challenges. You know, you've got to reformat an Excel spreadsheet whilst on the coaster. Oh god, that's office theme, nightmare. office theme park. That'd be pretty oh, cool. God. I mean, that'd be interesting. I mean, yeah. I mean, I picked these completely random. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, random. have you? I, I I don't know. Have you been to somewhere like I don't know Alton Towers or so a big place like that? I, I not Alton Towers. I've been to um, Thought Park. Thought Park. Yeah. London, yeah. Yeah. Is that your type of thing or not? Um, so <clears throat> here's an interesting story. Okay. I've always had a fear of roller coasters. I I, okay. I don't know why. And um, it, this was a classic. So so we, uh, my wife and I decided that uh, for my daughter's tenth birthday we would take her to uh, <laughs> Disney World, Orlando. Oh. oh, okay. Right, but the agreement was: I said, look, I'd love to go to Florida. I'd love to go to to Disney World, but I'm there's no way on earth I'm doing these the roller coasters and they forget it and my wife yeah. said no no it's fine because I love roller coasters so what we'll do we came to the agreement that she would go on the roller coasters with 
with my daughter whilst I looked after all this stuff and I thought yeah, yeah I'll just sit there read a book enjoy the sunshine lovely jubbly everyone's happy and then so we booked the holiday yeah and then about um, six months or so before we were due to go on holiday or maybe nine months before my wife had to have a pacemaker fitted hmm Right, and it just this came completely out of the blue. And one of the things they said was, "If you've got a pacemaker, there's no way you can go on a roller coaster." I mean, that's it. Your roller coaster yeah, yeah. days they, are they over. Say, they say, "Yeah, you know, if you've got a heart condition, don't you can't yeah. go on it." Yeah, yeah. And then at that point, you should have seen the panic on my face. It's like, well, it's booked. My daughter's an adrenaline junkie. She loves roller coasters, so she's going to want to go on every roller coaster. My wife said that you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to suck this up yeah. and man up and get on those roller coasters and i remember when we got out to, to well, honestly i i lost sleep over this dom i yeah, had a but... genuine fear of roller coasters and we went to i mean you got to laugh about it now we went to sea world and we were queuing up in sea world they had this disclaimer sign which was about 10 feet high okay and it was oh if you if you've ever had this don't go on the coaster if you know if you suffer from anxiety if you ever had heart palpitations if you've got high blood pressure thinking i've got all of these right now <laughs> I'm, I'm sure yeah i'm I'm about 50 percent on on that list and um and i was trembling as we were literally i, I think we were about five minutes away from getting on this coaster mm -hmm. we'd queued for ages but we we're about five minutes away so at this point i can see the so it's yeah. it was called a manta ray yeah, yeah. and this thing you sit in it and for, for listeners that haven't been on there you you sit in the coaster and then you think oh well this is going to be pretty bad anyway it's going to be pretty brutal no. but then you, you it lifts you up and then you end up facing the ground and you oh, think oh so you're a bit sake. like a kind of like almost like yes. prone you're yeah prone. oh it, it is shocking and i was watching people and, and and hearing them scream and i thought i i really can't i almost passed out because it's hot anyway yeah my heart's beating like literally out of my chest i thought oh, I, I don't think i can do this my daughter's saying yeah look at this it's so exciting <laughs> like, you just don't talk to me i just <laughs> need to mentally <laughs> prepare myself for this and anyway i got on there and i just somehow managed to make it to the end and yeah. I got off and I was shit I could barely walk and my, my daughter said again again <laughs> so we went back in the queue and thought oh, do you know what after about the third time of doing that coaster I got the bug you yeah. couldn't get me off coasters yeah. I did yeah. the Hulk rip ride rocket oh, I was I was all over it we did the rip ride, ride rocket in Universal Studios nine times in a row um, when we went there and, it, and that is you know you're going vertical right at, oh, it's just yeah. awesome I love it Love roller coasters now. Confession from me, your journey you just explained that was exactly my journey. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, genuinely. Like so, um, my friends. Oh God, it's like the one of the worst like build ups to one as well. So, um, uh, one of my friends they go re fairly regularly, and um, one of my friends who I've mentioned, she uh, she recently got married. Her husband is. He's an animal when it comes to theme parks. He loves them. Like, he can't get enough. He's an absolutely amazing guy, but he, he's an, you know, bring it on. Um, anyway, so we're due to leave for Thought Park on, um, uh, for the Saturday. Uh, my car breaks down on the Wednesday. <laughs> and, so then, cool. and then the person who lives in Nottingham, her car, is, was it Nottingham? Something beginning with N. It was a little bit, it was north. Her car also broke down. Are you so we what were are like chances. So so I hired then a car and I went from driving at the time I must have had the I must have had the Citroen at that time. Um so that was a you know it was a 2 liter diesel. Um it was a s small car but it because it was a 2 liter diesel it went it was my my play car it was absolutely brilliant loved it even though it broke about six times. Um but they gave me a 1 liter Fiesta. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Right, and then because um, this other person's car broke down, she was like, can you come pick me up? So I got up at four o'clock in the morning, picked up my two, her, my friend and her husband, they're both friends, but you know, just to kind of differentiate them, and then drove to Nottingham, picked her up, and then drove down to Thorpe Park no in way. this one litre Fiesta. Oh. Um, and then got to Thorpe Park, and I went through the same emotions as you did. Like and the first one that it took me to on Thorpe Park was Swarm. Uh, 
No, it was the one that goes really quick. Oh no! Just, just accelerate. That's cruel. Right. I know and the one. Not you only mean. that is, it's, it, 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 I'm, I'm going to do some hand motions to just for the listeners. Um, it goes up, and then obviously it just turns to the left. So the person right. on the left hand side falls. So they went, yeah, Dom, go on the left. Uh, so I'm like oh, that's, dangling, that's and, cruel. and I will. The one thing I, I have never, I still haven't, as I'm absolutely petrified of heights. But that, that's one of the reasons. But I just, you know, never really comfortable. Anyway, I'm queuing, and I'm. I'm not letting on to the to my friends. I'm trying to be a little bit brave, but I'm absolutely bricking it. I'm like, but I've I got up at four o'clock, so I've just got to do it anyway. Oh. I'm sitting this thing, and <laughs> just uh, and this one when it goes, it knocks the air the air out of you. And I'm like, how hard can this be? Anyway, it launches, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck me, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, I said I wasn't going to swear on the podcast. I've already broken that rule. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, it goes up, comes back down, and I'm and I'm still like I'm like completely gripped, like I'm like I'm not letting go, and uh, and I haven't said anything, and uh, the, this the, my friend she turns to me, and she goes, "Are you okay? How was that?" I was like, "Okay, that wasn't t- I quite like that. That was good." <laughs> but it was, I didn't it like just, it, but I liked it. I, I, I was just like, it just took everything from me. Anyway, we did. Then we started going on to the other ones, and the one I loved is the saw ride because that comes up and kind of inverts you as yeah, you come back does. down. Yeah, it does. That's and right. I, and we went on that a couple of times. The only time I didn't like it is when you're going in the slow bit, like the the haunted house bit. They spray some water at you, um, <laughs> but it broke, so it was just a single jet stream, <laughs> right? And it pinpointed me and hit me <laughs> square in the forehead. It didn't hit anybody else. But it hit me square in the forehead. So, are you sure that was water? I bloody hope so. Uh, the, the problem, the problem I have is obviously I take my glasses off because I don't want to lose them while flying around the track, and so I'm blind. I've suddenly been hit by water, and then it's well, what you think is water? You up. Yeah, what I think is water, and it's chucking you up, and you're like, oh god, and then it's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I, I still have a few. I have a few things like I will grip onto the the, the handle rails as tightly as possible. I, I'm not. Yeah, a, I'm not enough. an arms. Up. I'm like I want to make sure that I'm safe. Like I trust my strength if this goes wrong, type thing. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I, I I do love a good roller coaster. The thing I can't do, teacups. Oh yeah, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. Ridiculously no. motion sickness. No, when it comes same to here. Tea yeah, same here. And there's, I've always got this image. We went to Legoland with my 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 mum, my dad, and my sister. And uh, me and my mum agreed to go on these teacups if it was just us two. And my dad and my sister would went on their own. So me and my mum are like sat there on the edge, and it, it still spins. And we're like, oh god, we feel oh. so sick. And it, it's just doing slow. And then you just look to the right, and there's my dad and my sister, and they both like leaning over the wheel, like, come on, we can get it faster. Let's go. And they go. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> no. Like, what are you doing, you no. insane people? No, you just end up projectile vomiting like somebody yeah. from The Exorcist. That's yeah. that's. So, I have an agreement with my friends. I will do any track coaster and I, any water-based coaster. I am there like a flash. I did um, Tidal Wave about it. Is it Tidal Wave in Thought Park? I did that three times. I think so, yeah. Even when it was raining. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Do, do you know what? We're, we're, maybe we should do spinning. this, Dom. We should go to the one in... Is it? Is it in Abu Dhabi? The, the Formula One. Oh, have you seen yeah. that one? It takes the you up Formula to like 100 one, the, the, uh, Ferrari one, yeah. The Ferrari one. Have you seen the video with Kimi, uh, Kimi Reichen? Yes, yes. Yeah, where he's just Hilarious. sat there like... Yeah. <laughs> he's just completely stony-faced. Yeah, because for him, that's mm. just like the one litre. That's the equivalent of the one litre <laughs> the higher car. Yeah. I, the, the, the bad, I then had to drive that higher car back home. Um, <laughs> and actually, yeah. on the, the problem is on the motorway, it wasn't great. Um, actually, but through town, um, when I dropped it back off to um, the cu- the rental place, I had to drive it through the centre of Swindon at five o'clock in the evening. So it was chocker. And my dad said he couldn't keep. And my dad at the time drove an, an Audi A6, so it was like a big hulking, great big thing. And I was like, right, I'm just going to stick this in like gear two, like, and it was like a little little bees under the bonnet like, brrr, as it was going around this like three cylinder. That's a free, like, and getting that guy in 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 through. It, just sign him to the track and I was like I can't keep up <laughs> I yeah, arrived like you... half an hour before he did the thing and I was like where is he I'm not surprised probably would have been like um, the Italian job with the minis yeah, yeah exactly yeah. That's weaving exactly in and out was. love yeah, it yeah. yeah love it <laughs> excellent oh look I at that it. so we really focused quite a long time on theme park I didn't realise you'd gone on the same journey yeah 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 there you go yeah. 
I, I, I haven't been for a good four or five years, so I, I'm, I, I have to admit, like, the suggestion of going again does fill me with those original. But I reckon oh, okay. by the time I do, like, a couple, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember how this is. Okay, so it's fine. Fair enough. We should. Do, I'd, I'd love post-pandemic work work trips, something like that, to, to Thorpe Park. Yeah, that, that would be, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, Definitely. We'd be up there. Yeah. Right, number seven. Chocolate with fruit or nut? Okay, this is going to be quick. All right, we yeah. just, I just need to nip this one straight in the bud. <laughs> Nuts, good. Okay. Fruit, no. Okay. Just, okay. Fruit, oh. d- don't put it on pizza. Don't put it. <laughs> don't next, put it in. A, next month. <laughs> no, don't put it in the curry. For goodness' sake. No, I agree with you on the stop curry. Stop it. Right. Stop putting it in chocolate. <laughs> just enough if if you want fruit have some fruit you like fruit good for you go and peel an orange have some bloody fruit have a grape stop putting it in things that i mean look pine my daughter loves pineapple on a pizza but, but it's just so wrong it's just it it makes my blood boil why would you do it Somebody's chopping up a pineapple and goes, yeah, do you know what? That'd be good on a pizza. No. No, it wouldn't. It isn't. So, I mean, it is. So millions of people, billions yeah. of people love it. But, but, but you know, D- it's only my dairy opinion milk, that So the, the, the dairy milk, fruit and nut would not be on your, on your plate then? No, definitely not. And, and again, you know, I, I know I'm in the minority here. So, but, but I just, that's how passionately I feel about it. So no, so for me, that, that's just, do you like fruit and nut? No. So okay, I, cool. I, I mentioned about peanuts. I don't like nuts. So oh yeah, of course. I'm, I'm the type yeah, of person sorry. That will take a carrot cake and pick off the walnuts because I don't like them. Yeah, fair um, enough. Which is fair. Um, when it comes to fruit, like so, there are certain there are specifics. Um, we'll save the the pineapple pizza one till next month. I think sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no, I okay, didn't. Yeah, okay. I jumped because I, I can go on for hours about. Yeah, that. I, I just. I, I, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. But but like so the only fruit. I mean, if you don't include like tomato in a fruit salad, in a in a in a you know in a salad, that's obviously you know there's a special t- and peppers because they're technically fruit. But I know what you you know if we go for like a sweet type, <laughs> yeah, of you fruit, got a tomato you know, is technically a fruit, but you can't you yeah. can't yeah yeah what is it Get knowledge technical. is knowing that tomato is in, is a fruit, intelligence is knowing it doesn't go in a fruit salad um, exactly. But like the only exception, there's one exception, is I do love chocolate covered raisins. It's just okay. We need to move on. I'm getting upset again. <laughs> and you're gonna get you're gonna get do. me back <laughs> to the topic of pizzas. I'm just I can feel my blood pressure going up. <laughs> right, let's get you drunk then, because that's the next one. Get getting drunk. drunk. I'll, I'll put a caveat on this one. Well, not a caveat. Uh, so my influence for this one, because this was the first one that was not influenced by the what's good. Okay. Um, this was influence on uh, a video that I saw was overrated or underrated. Whether you thought getting drunk was overrated or underrated. And okay. my thoughts on this, I think getting drunk is overrated. 100%. I, I, I like, and from a, I like, don't, I'm not saying don't drink alcohol. I'm not saying don't do, you know, don't do that. What I'm saying is I will, I, I think getting to the point where you're, you lose control is so bad and the morning after is just so bad as well that I think it's overrated happily to have a couple of I'd much rather have like I don't know a couple of drinks you know a bar uh, the, the, the image that comes to mind for, from Taekwondo was uh, I, I want some I want uh, a nice thick burger some cheap plastic American cheese inside a bun and a cider nice yeah I like his style I'm 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 with you. We are fully aligned on this one, right? Go out, mm. have a pint, go home. Yeah. Right. I I I just don't understand this. I used to go out with friends of mine that were, you know, they would drink eight, nine, ten. I had a friend of mine that drank twelve pints once. I couldn't oh. drink twelve pints of I water do, 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 in an ten, evening never mind fizzy can you imagine yeah. I mean and he was steaming mm. I mean, what is the point what yeah. exactly are you trying to do I, I've, I've never understood this there's a whole thing around um, getting high mm. 
as well versus getting drunk and it's it, it's interesting that one's legal the other one isn't and and it's 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 who's made the decision as to right well what's what's legal what isn't it, it's interesting and and you know because actually if you look at the damaging effects one's used for medicinal purposes yeah exactly that's not legal <laughs> I've, I've never exactly. understood that I've never and, because... and I'm not encouraging people, by the way, to smoke weed, no. and I'm not encouraging people to not drink, like like you said. So, so I'm just completely on the fence on this one. But mm. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, it, it is fully overrated, overrated completely. 100%. I don't see yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And, and and I think, and and uh, you know, I'm 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 at an age. <laughs> I'm at an age. I'm thirty this year. <laughs> um, That's I, an age. I, it's all right. Yeah, I could. Um, and it's like, you know, I'm talking to the, my friend, my, the friend group about what we want to do in a meetup, and we're like, yeah, we want to, you know, I don't want to get blotto, but I'm like, yeah, we want to, we want to do like, like a cocktail making night, which is, you know, yeah. that's really that's a good idea. But like, just I want to try like, the different ones, you know, Sex on the Beach, Mojito, uh, Margaritas, etc. Just, but just, just to try, not to deliberately, you know, get to the point where I'm. Yeah, you know, completely blotto. I like, I like control. I think is, I think what that's. And I'm exactly the same. I don't like to lose control. There is a sweet spot, mm. and, and you have to know. You have to really exercise self discipline. Yeah. You have to get to that point where you think, yeah, I, I need to stop now. Usually for me, it's about it's after about two drinks. <laughs> I, I, I I don't. Yeah, I I have a very low tolerance to alcohol. Yeah, I, I, I'm, and I'm the same. And, and I also, you know, I, I like things like I'll, I love a glass of red wine with a steak. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, amazing. But yeah. that one glass is fine, right? Yeah. I savor it. No, I'm not getting drunk. I'm using it to enhance. You just, yeah, you're using yeah. exactly. You just, yeah. you don't open a bottle of red wine and think, yeah, I'll get through that. You just have a glass and enjoy it. Enjoy yeah. it with the steak. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're one hundred percent aligned on that. Very quick, like slight deviation. How do you have your steak? Oh, it's it's got to be rare. Oh, I finally found someone that also likes theirs rare. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, you've got to cut into it and go, "Ooh, whoa, blood." Okay. The, 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 uh, the, have you ever had it blue? Once, yeah. and I must admit, I liked it. Yeah. I I, I think the phrase yeah. I, the phrase I like is wipe its ass, slap it on the plate. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Still twitching. So, yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> that took me completely by surprise. Yeah, still twitching, still twitching. That'll do. We are going to be murdered by everybody that is vegetarian or vegan. Yeah, um, we are. I, I, cause, so it's funny because you've put Holland. When I went over to Holland, I went to a proper steak restaurant. Nice. Oh, and I'm not gonna lie, my my wallet took a big da- some big damage, but it but was worth good. it. And and because. Um, we also paired the wine with the steak that we were having. Oh, the get wine. in! They dog. just they just got it right, and you know the you know the sauce was just you know just it was complimentary, not overpowering, and and and, oh. and there wasn't you know they were like you know lovely. They they still did chips, but they were proper like homemade professional chips, and there weren't too many of them, and and and. Oh, yeah, just good. It was good. It were was they good. thrice fried? No, they were. Th- they were. In- they thrice were. fried. That, that's what, what they? they were. I don't know what the Dutch is for that, but um, they were thrice Pro- fried. Probably thrice fried in a Dutch accent. I can't do it. <laughs> thrice fried. I don't, that's that's terrible. I'm that moving swiftly bad. on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good on. either. <laughs> we have no notes for this one. I'm interested. So, des- designer clothes. Yeah. yeah. So, well, okay. Before before I launch into anything go on I, I want to know right you, you put designer clothes there why where, where are you going with this so I right it's almost falls into the category of like avocado and mushrooms where I want to be more fashionable than I currently am to a certain extent okay so I am a jeans and t-shirt and hoodie guy and you know I wear converses always high tops um, it's interesting the latest fashion seems to be even with with males seems to be showing your ankles and I cannot stand my ankles don't know why I just well I, yeah and I don't okay I like my ankles so... covered anyway high tops converse uh, s- slim to skinny jeans I'm a millennial 
a t-shirt at the moment i'm wearing uh, i'm wearing an exercise one because it's hot and that's the way i roll um and if it was winter i would have a hoodie um and that's that's how i roll i would not buy designer ver i think designer clothes are a n like a no for me like it's it, they're usually too expensive and horrifically impractical but i do wish i was just a little bit more stylish uh, i actually admire you jerry for this really one. When you're in the office, or whenever I, when I've seen you in the office, you are the definition of a sharp, crisp, like man. You oh, are in. Okay. You're always in a jacket, and even you know, and you the shirt tight. It just it all just fit, and you look good in it. If you don't mind thank me you. saying, you 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 yeah, look sharp. You. Um, and I'm always I always feel like I've used one of my old nicknames. I feel like Melman the giraffe. Uh, <laughs> Melman the Giraffe from Madag for, the, for those who haven't watched Madagascar, Melman the Giraffe is a um, <laughs> is a um, oh what's the phrase? He's a pedantic, like yeah. Uh, he's pa paranoid about all the medical things. There's a word for it, and I can't think what it is off the top of my head. Um, a voice by um, Schwarmer from Friends. Uh, ah yes. Um, um, David. David Schwimmer. Yeah, David Schwimmer. That's yes. It. Um, and uh, hypochondriac. Yeah. Hypochondriac. He's a hypochondriac. But I feel sure. like Melman the giraffe when I'm dressed up and suited and booted because I'm built like a rake, if I'm honest. Um, so it just don't, it doesn't. I'd, I've never found a fit that works for me. Ah, oh, Dom. Right. So, so your height and your builds absolutely lends itself to. So, so let, let's. In fact. Let's strike the design a bit out of that because, like yeah. for example, when I dress up and I go into the office, I'm not wearing anything designer. Yeah, it's but not it's like finding Armani. what you fit. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I did. Yeah, it's not designer, but it's what fits for you. Mm. And and if I was to say who's the quintessential um, meister of style, it's Tom Ford, and I'm and he is just oh from, next level. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he I mean. What he's done, the, the the fashion empire that he's built up. I mean, the, the, this man is just a genius. He's a genius. And actually, if you take a look at his clothing and take a look at his clothing line, the things that he wears in particular, it's actually... Well, his clothing line isn't limited. His clothing line's amazing. And it's, in fact, all his clothes are just flipping amazing. But if you, if you, if you were to Google Tom Ford, he doesn't wear many outfits. In fact, his go-to is is a beautiful black suit with okay. peaked lapels, wide peaked lapels, fitted, um, with a white, crisp white double cuff shirt, black tie. Yeah, do you know, simple, oh, yeah, so I, stylish. I don't know, I just don't know if I can pull it off. I've got a, I've yeah, got, you go. I've got a wonderful photo with me and one of, one of my friends and she lives out in Germany. Um, she, <laughs> we have an interesting opinion. I'm six foot three, so I'm I'm fairly tall, 191 centimeters. Um, she is not; she's a little bit shorter. She's I don't actually know what she is, but she and we're both big Lord of the Rings lovers. And the caption right. that we both put for that is, "Do you want me to describe what you're seeing, or shall I get you a box?" In reference <laughs> between Legolas and Gimli, you know, and she, <laughs> you know, because of the height difference. And she says, uh, "She's getting ma uh, married next year." She says, "When we have photos together." you are not standing next to me without me at least being on something higher because you look <laughs> ridiculous you know we look ridiculous together um and I, yeah I, I mean i see myself i've so I, i've actually interesting i've got a, i've got a suit fitting next weekend oh uh, okay i'm one of the groomsmen for um, right which i'm this sounds so uh, my friends will laugh because they they always see me and i do wear all these the same things uh, you know it's it's jeans converse uh, a, and I wear a baggy t-shirt and I'm not you know I, I'm quite skinny but I'm you know I'm fairly fit because you were taekwondo um, so I, I don't don't look impressive inside clothes I don't wear tight clothes to kind of emphasize that but I do like getting suited and booted even yeah, if I feel amazing. like I feel like a melman a giraffe and it's interesting just thinking about it and some of the other conversations we had I think some of the impact of clothes is actually how you wear it like if you yeah. come in confident, you will look confident whatever you're wearing. Yeah, you can't be self. If you're self-conscious about what you're wearing, that's killer. Yeah, right. People are going to spot that even if it's a jeans mile and off. Even if it's jeans and t-shirt, whatever it is, if you're wearing something you're not comfortable in it and you're self-conscious, then forget it. 
mm. to, 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 you, you know and and for me you know i i um you have to find that thing that that works for you as well right so um you know i love jeans love jeans i've lived in jeans all my life i just love them but it's interesting there are jeans and jeans right mm. so if you make an investment in a good pair of jeans i've got a really nice pair of diesel jeans mm. that are just different slightly distressed good fit mm. they're, they're, they're not really smart jeans but they're not really rough jeans you know they're not they're not they haven't got rips and things in them but you can still wear a, yeah. a double cuff shirt a white double cuff shirt with that yeah, and yeah. and by the way there's there's a whole thing as well and tom ford says about this and and fragrance there's it's not just how you look but it's how you smell and it's how well uh, yeah. you're groomed and and you know it's the whole thing so, yeah so like the, i mean like my monday mornings if i got suited and booted on a monday morning after self-care sunday I, i'm right I, like or, or just after I've done, if i sometimes i'll do like self-care sunday before an event so if i'm going so like the, the wedding that i had on this on a saturday i did the self-care kind of whole scrub on the friday before i left Right. And like I, I did, I felt like I, you, you know, you feel better. I feel, you know, yeah. I feel like just you know, I'm got so, shiny elbows, um, <laughs> moisturized, soft, moisturized shiny, shiny elbows. elbows. And it, you know, I felt in a good place. Um, yeah. And I think, I think, I think it's probably, it's probably right. I mean, d I think we both agreed designer clothes are just a, a no. We would not. Ex there's no need to expensive. It's about that fit. Yeah, it is more so definitely. I mean, I must have, you know, I've just gone and okay, I, I've just said mentioned diesel jeans i love levi's levi's are my favorite the levi's actually fit me perfectly yeah. i mean that and that's the other thing as well levi's are not really that they're not cheap jeans but they're not overly expensive jeans but they yeah. fit me perfectly but I, but for me it's 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 the jeans at shoes right instead of wearing trainers wear shoes okay what would you and, pair with blue je with blue jeans oh blue jeans right a really good pair of of uh um you know you could go for uh and this is where the designer bit i i kind of flip flop between the two so you can go for a pair of levi's jeans but then you can you know pull the trigger on a pair of 250 pound barker shoes mm. in tan leather with a matching tan leather belt mm. a white shirt i mean that's gonna work yeah that's gonna work right splash on some really good men's fragrance as well yeah uh, and that's we'll, also we'll gonna make fragrance. you feel good we're gonna do fragrance in a couple of months yeah that'd be good i'd love I, to do that because i've got i've got some limited and i think i think i'm gonna come away very educated oh okay because i love fragrance i can show you the collection i've got I, I'm, I'm a bit of a fragrance nut ah. so so we, we have to do a slot on fragrances yeah might have to do okay. that just offline by the way because i would love to learn a bit more <laughs> oh yeah i'll tell i'll tell you about Top notes, mid notes, base notes. Oh man! Yeah, dry I'm down. I'm an uneducated. I'm an uneducated man. I realise. No, you're not at all. It's yeah. just what in, you know. Is what you know. It's what you. Oh, okay, area. well, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what I know. Yeah. I, I, I'm uh, very passionate about fragrances. So, and the other, the other, you know, the other thing, like obviously, you know, we've got the generation differences. I, I'm. <laughs> my friends are. What's the phrase? It's middle part in skinny jeans. That's what millennials <laughs> right. refer to. Um, um, Shoreditch. Shoreditch. The Shoreditch look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, or if you're talking, you know, perhaps females in the middle part, and then I think Gen Z, which your daughter maybe, maybe, you'll, maybe, yeah, I'm you'll, maybe, think, you'll actually, would yeah. more likely be side parting. Sorry, no, sorry, it's side parting skinny jeans, and it's middle parting, and it's I think they call them mom mum jeans, where they're 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 more flared. Yes, that yes, seems to be the trend now. So, um, she, my my daughter is the most fashionable person i know when okay. it comes to style and design yeah mm. she she's incredible when yeah. she gets dressed up i look at her and just think oh come on that's unbelievable she she just knows i mean she does immaculate makeup incredible uh i'm not just saying this when people say yeah, of course you're gonna say that it's your daughter but no she she really is mm. she is the most fashionable person i, my, I know my i mean you know my my sister is very much uh uh, so she's got like a crew cut, um, right. and she's not a makeup person. She never wears makeup at all. Um, she did it for a, was it a twenty first? Um, like she did makeup, hair, and this was when she had long hair, and she put a dress on for the first time in about five years, and she walked down the stairs, and both me and my dad went, "Wow, you look great." 
like why don't you do this all the time and i and i know why and, and i'm not going to go into her her life story too much but you know it's a sh- it's a sh- shame and she she could she could she she could turn heads easy easy right i'm not saying that just because she's my sister and it's it's like it's that confidence in the yeah, look it's i imagine confidence. i imagine your daughter is like i've dressed up in this makeup looks good i feel great yeah she yeah absolutely and it radiates i think it yeah radiates. it does yeah it does yeah she's amazing she's the, amazing the one look that i'd love to be able to pull up that all i'd love to be able to pull off is obviously I, it's, you know i like jeans interestingly even when i'm at home and comfortable i wear jeans yeah same I don't, here i don't wear I, I never wear like sweatpants even if they're they're a fashionable thing uh for two reasons one because i feel exceptionally self-conscious in a certain area ridiculously <laughs> self-conscious um, okay I just do, um, and the, the the other reason is actually I find them hotter than jeans, which is weird. Which is weird. Yeah, they are. But I find them really hot. Yeah, I, when we when we went out, so to just to give you an idea of how much I love jeans, when we went out to um, Florida, mm. we went out to Orlando. It was over a hundred degrees. Yeah, ridiculous humidity, and literally everybody's walking around in shorts, and I'm walking around in jeans. Because oh, okay. that's how I roll. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I will, st- I will. I'm happy to go for the shorts, but I have to admit, it took me a lot of convincing. So I'm currently wearing shorts that are just above the knee. Right. I used to always wear three quarters lengths because I hated my knees. Okay. It was like almost a conscious bit, like my ankles. Um, I haven't got over my ankles, but I am over my knees. But I will wear sh- like traditional you, shorts. You need to moisturise them. <laughs> I do need to moisturize. That's my the ankles. secret. That's the secret. I do moisturize my ankles. But, but look, fragrance, we've got to talk about fragrance. Not now, but we've yeah. got to have to talk about it. I'm wearing a tobacco fragrance, you know that. Okay. It's gonna no. blow your mind. But when you when you go into the world of fragrances, I'm wearing a tobacco fragrance. I by might Malton make that Brown. section. When we do that then I'll make that oh. section. We'll make it a longer section. Yeah, so it's, it's awesome. So much to talk about. Right, shall we go into right. number ten? Yeah, this is easy. This is easy. This will be over in Look, I'm telling you now, this will be over in 30 seconds. Shower. That's it. Move on. Okay. Shower. How about baths for a specific purpose? So if I want to get clean, I will shower. So you will never, ever have a bath. Never, honestly. They they should... I've put in my notes, baths should be be banned. They should be banned. They should be banned. So you've never done like bath bomb... No. Like candles, things no. like that. No. So I, I will half agree with you. <laughs> okay. My biggest bugbear with baths, I'm six foot three. I've yet to find a bath like a bloody lion. Right. <laughs> so just rip the bath out of your bathroom, turn it into a bigger shower, yeah. turn it into a walk in shower. I would love, man, a walk, walking shower right. with a waterfall. Uh, with a water. With a waterfall. Right. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, that, what, what, I can get on. That I can get on board with. Right. Yeah. So now, now get you're rid talking of your bath. My language. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Get the yeah. crowbar right now, straight after this podcast. Would you? Would you say, water, like a shower with like a cubicle shower, or would you? And I've always wanted. I've always wanted a wet room. Yeah, wet room. Yeah. All the way. All yeah. the way. Yeah. With a, with a big kind of waterfall shower head. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Right, okay. that's an experience. I forgive you. So, I mean, I like the odd bath, like, and I mean, like once, six and once every six months type thing. But I do find I do understand that like, I sort of after like half an hour, I'm like, I'm bored, I'm hot, I'm itchy, I can't really fit. So my knees are now cold, and then I switch, and it's like, and then I'm only covered to like my belly button. Oh, this like, is... so yeah, if. The day I, f- I find a place that has a bath that I can lay in and I'm covered from my neck all the way down to my toes, then then I might enjoy baths more than I currently do. But no. otherwise, uh, I'm with you on the waterfall shower. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're going to bath, right, you might as well do like he did in Scarface. He had a bath that was <laughs> literally the... <laughs> he had a bath that was the size of a trampoline, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But when you get like to that a- side, you might as well just go to a swimming pool then. Yeah, you might as well, yeah, you might as well just go to like an open air salt water Lido or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Or Lido. I don't know how you pronounce it. But either way, yeah. just just walk in shower with waterfall with a waterfall shower head. I mean that I mean yeah. it doesn't get better than that. We we mentioned it earlier about you have it as hot to take off your epidermis. Yes. <laughs> um pressure. High pressure? High. High. Yeah. 
It's yeah, got yeah. so not only so first of all, it's got to be strong enough to be able to tear those top layers of skin off your body. Yeah. But you know, it's got to be powerful enough where you kind of feel like you have to hold on to something, otherwise it's gonna knock you over. It's gotta be like a almost like a fireman's hose, you know, like it's gotta be high pressure. Yeah. It's gotta almost knock you off your feet. Like if you stick your head under it, it'd be like sticking your head under one of those waterfalls like they have in Japan I've when they meditate. That. Have you done I've that? Done there you I've go. It needs to be that. like so that. You, you, I've been to, when I was in Jamaica, we stood under the waterfalls and, and we were trying. I mean, it, it was, it's thunderous. Like they make yeah, it really it. easy. By the way, it's really difficult. Like just yeah, stand underneath it. I'm like, uh, and I, because I do have a, a neck like Melman the Giraffe, unfortunately, <laughs> um, it's not as strong as it's one of the weaker parts, but it was a bit like, uh, like this and then people were trying to do like sumo squats in the prayer position i'm just like oh. i can't see but this is great definitely <laughs> you know it's 30 degrees so it was it wasn't like it wasn't like a cold shower but yeah i know what you mean by the pressure yeah it needs to be that but twice as strong oh <laughs> twice as strong yeah <laughs> but just i've just got a bit of <laughs> just get yeah shot out of thing. yeah you need to be literally you just bounce around the the wet room <laughs> the wet room. like a ping pong ball because the, the water pressure is just yeah I can't emphasize that enough. High. High. high Super on high. Yeah. An, yeah. Right. Shall we go and talk conspiracy theory for this Let's month? Let's do it. So, background to this. Um, we're going to discuss... I, I don't know how long this we're going to discuss it for. I think it probably be the similar length of those 10 uh, based, on, based on my notes and just probably just our opinions. Um, but the one we're going to discuss is Keanu Reeves is Immortal. Now, before the reason why, and obviously because we're not on, we're not visual, we're only auditory. The reason why uh, I chose this one first uh, for people's information, Jerry is a spitting image of Keanu Reeves. This is why he's, a, he's you know he's a very sharp man, um, uh, and in all the good sense, like Keanu Reeves is is part god, as we'll we'll discuss in a minute. <laughs> in in not just because he might be immortal. Um, but, and that's why we spun the idea. We in this section, I think, in a few months, I, there aren't many conspiracy theories. I think we can discuss because we're fairly well-grounded people, um, or at least that's my impression of Jerry. I, yeah, but I do like a good conspiracy theory. We like a good conspiracy theory. Yeah. I think in terms of that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, no, I, I, Ooh. yeah, I think you'll. I'm going to surprise you now. Oh, I, I, this is good. This is really, really good. Yeah. Um, and but some of them may be less specific in terms of like instead of okay. discussing this person is immortal it may be like what's our opinion on ufos things like that <laughs> yeah Area 51. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what? thank you for so i i so i'm flattered um i i i still can't see i can kind of see it i think it's the hair color probably the eyes but that's about it um but yeah, it, it's, it's the jawline, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I wish, I wish. Um, yeah, I had to look this up. I've never heard of, I'd never heard of this, um, and I found out some interesting things. But in the course of doing that as well, I found out something quite funny with regards to a game called Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven as well. Yeah, have you heard about that with the hack? Oh, I haven't. Go. Oh, this is so funny. So, Cyberpunk 2077 players have been having explicit romps with <laughs> Keanu's Johnny Silverhand character. Oh, yes. By downloading a hack to their consoles. But now that modification now has been banned. Yeah. I read that and that was in the Daily Star. Um, <laughs> but they were talking about that. And yeah, just ba basically people wanted to, to have a romp with, uh, with Keanu. So they downloaded this hack. Can you believe it? The lengths that people... <laughs> Go go to. I mean, what, really? But but yeah, I, I'm a um, big gamer, and I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, that's okay. There's there's lots that can be said about that. So I'm going <laughs> I'm going um, about people downloading hacks to do that. So I'm going to move swiftly on. But 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 that was interesting because it's Paul Munet, and he's been around since the 1500s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but actually, then there was 748 ADs. It's Charlemagne. Yeah, Charlemagne. Uh, it's it's, it's funny. Right. There is there is a website. It's called KeanuIsImmortal.com. There is a genuine <laughs> URL, um, and 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 they and they interviewed the guy who set it up about this, um, 
uh, and this is obviously at the beginning of the pandemic so we're talking like march when they did the interview and this guy's from from australia um and he was talking about does he think it's actually true um so the original video about keanu reeves is immortal and it, it's got the it's got um uh, keanu reeves famous uh, it's uh, overlay over the top of it it's got his uh famous lines from the end of the first matrix um where he's talking on the phone and right. he's discussing about uh you know i know where you are etc it's a really really great monologue um but there's so the original video from like 2009 so this is where this this, this comes from it's talking about and it's got all the historical pictures and it's like here's keanu reeves in the 15 or it's the 700 ad yeah 700 and, like and 1800s and here's him now in 2015 and 2000 and then 2021 and it's like wow at the time this one was obviously 2009 so it wasn't that that on but they've got later but, pictures of it but you know what i look put put that conspiracy theory to one side so there, there are two people you just think what the actual hell it, it's amazing so yeah. keanu reeves right that guy has not aged he's not aged yeah whatever Seriously. he's eating and drinking i want avocado on toast <laughs> peanut butter yeah, he's uh, also he's also moisturising regularly. No, under yeah. the guy looks. He moisturises his ankles as well as his elbows. That's his yeah, he, he, yeah, hell, he does, and he showers. He doesn't like, he doesn't, he doesn't like, like bath. Bath. He doesn't do baths. Um, I, I don't know <laughs> if that's true. I'm just making that up. Yeah, we, but we've completely made that up. Like, we we go one hundred percent made that up. He's probably going to write in and say, "Listen, guys, you don't know me. You don't know me." Um, but he he does look amazing. I he he the, the guy has not aged, and and to think that you know you know what is he doing in John Wick, and he's in his fifties. Yeah, I mean that's insane. And he does his own stunts. He does his own stunts, and and people say like people in the MMA community are saying that he's the real deal. He's yeah, doing yeah. some serious. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's pulling some serious moves. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, realism level in terms of you know no one's going to walk into a club with. Fifty armed people, and you know, you, you just wait outside the I, club. I'm a big and, and John just, Wick fan. I do. Love ah, him. John Wick is amazing, yeah. amazing. Do you know my favourite bit in the, all the John Wick movies? It's the first John Wick movie where he goes into the Red Circle Club. Yeah. And he's standing behind that pillar, and the other guy standing behind the other side of the pillar. Yeah. And he just glances round, and he sees the guy's foot sticking out, so he <laughs> shoots him in the foot. I mean. <laughs> genius it's just yeah. genius um but but yeah he does he looks amazing and and so keanu reeves but do you know who else elizabeth hurley have you seen liz hurley oh, she's no. also i'm pretty sure she's in a fit i might i might have got this wrong i haven't got a researcher that sitting next to me that can look this up um but honestly i've just never seen anything like it she she has not aged in fact i, I would i'd go so far as to say how old do you think she is oh uh, well i've just looked it up okay that's right that's insane i share something in common with her we were born in the same town basingstoke mm. i didn't realize she was born in basingstoke i neither did i she'd be good at navigating roundabouts yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. amazing Stoke, Stoke. Uh, look at that a weird, it's a weird place uh, I mean it's a lovely place but it's a bit weird um, <laughs> but uh, I mean I've just, I've just my jaw the, the reason why I'm so shocked is my jaw has just dropped also happy birthday to her for, uh, eight days ago um, yeah there you go 56 like I went onto her Instagram and I was like well she doesn't look out of place from like the 20 year old in influence of her yeah. days and I was like no Honestly, for goodness sake, she looks better now than she did when she was in her twenties. It's just ridiculous. What the hell is going on there? That's that's if that's not avocado on toast, <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter and moisturising. I don't know what is. Oh, that's amazing. I, yeah, I'm, doesn't I'm she shock. look amazing? Incredible. Do do, do oh, so. I mean. I've got this theory with Keanu Reeves a little bit that the reason why he's so young is that God wants to keep him on this earth to a certain extent. I, I'm not, I'm not religious to a certain, like overly, I'm not really religious at all. But I do believe in that there is something a little bit higher than us. Like no matter how much the science is perfectly reasonable and explains, there's just something we don't, we will never understand, and we're not meant to. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. But Keanu Reeves is is, is meant to be kept on this earth because he is so. He's so kind. 
Have you heard he about some of his exploits? You know, yeah, you know, and and humble. And yep. I I almost aspire to be a bit like him to or to to get to that level of kindness and and humbleness. And I and I'm you know I'm almost ashamed to admit I'm nowhere near there yet. Um, as much as I've tried. Um, but yeah, and I think he's almost like he must be just be like being kept because he's just a a little bit of a beacon of hope to, to, to some of us. I I agree with that. He he is I think mentally, spiritually, he's he's operating on a different level. Mm. I, I would go so far as to say that he's kind of when people say, Oh, I want to you know, I want to reach a a high state of consciousness I want to he, that's him he's yes. so selfless he's he that. is so calm he's reached it he's mm. reached it he hasn't I don't know if he does practice as Buddhism or, or what I don't well, know I, th- I, I, I don't he does practice something does he yeah I'm just I'm just kind of furiously googling because because he, he's a big martial artist which is why he can do all of this he stuff. is yeah um, and uh, he, is he one of the things I will say whilst you're looking yes. that up... B- Buddhist, th- Canadian, American, British actor. That's it. He, he's incredible. He yeah. is just incredible. He's done some, He's done some. Uh, I'd say, questionable movies. I watched I watched one the other day and thought, oh, wow, okay, interesting that he took that, that role on. Yeah. But, you know, when you think of... You know, he's so humble, he's so kind, he's so softly spoken, he's so selfless. He's so not your typical... Hollywood icon, right? In terms of personality, and he's done some of the biggest. I mean, for goodness' wow. sake, The Matrix. It just doesn't get the, the Matrix. Is I mean, probably, come yeah, on, top, it just doesn't get line. bigger than that. I'm That's, just reading a little bit about him on this on this religion wiki, which I didn't really. Which is a bit weird. Um, so we'd like you know we're discussing, um, like uh, how do you call it? Like uh, his religion etc but so Reeves has never been married his girlfriend gave birth to a stillborn daughter that's right I, she was then killed in a car accident two years later his, his, um, his that's girl, right. then yeah. girlfriend and he's and as far as as according to this as far as we know he's still single yeah I, I, uh, no I no no he's not he's not. He not no no but he's yeah he's been, he's been burnt like that and he's still yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think B- Buddhism is an interesting thing. Like a lot of the self-help books kind of deal with the way that Buddhists think, um, and people used to think that it was about it was like suffering for the sake of suffering. Um, and the Buddhism was the first one to kind of go, no, 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 you don't need to do that. You know, you need to think about these things and and and, and understand it. And I'd need to reread some books before we delve into into that. But I think that's definitely one thing that definitely shows his character. Um, and although Buddhism doesn't believe in like anything really, or from my memory, doesn't believe in anything higher, I still think there is a little bit. But I think bec- we're still more in, we're in more control than we than we like to to give ourselves. Yeah, it's it, it's in, it's interesting, and and I think that there's a quote which it's this is funny because my take on it I think is 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 a humorous take on it, but but it does kind of sum him up. It sums up Keanu perfectly. So he mm. said he once said allegedly, and this is, I'll 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 take the word of of wherever I read this online. <laughs> he he put <laughs> he put money is the last thing I think about. I could live on what I already have made for the next yeah. few centuries. Yeah. Now, I think that just speaks volumes about you know if you wanted to kind of encapsulate Keanu's character that quote does it perfectly the the article the article i read about the guy who set up the the one keanu doesn't deny the rumor oh that's interesting so he doesn't deny the rumor he's then when he comes out with quotes like money's the last yeah. thing i think about because i can live on what i've already made for the next few centuries so what does he anticipate on him yeah. living for the next few centuries so he's thinking this is good i, I need to accumulate this wealth because i'm going to be around for it you know yeah hundreds of years so so he's thinking long term i like yeah. it and you think about the films that he's portrayed in so he's done like the matrix which is all about going to the future um i think like 
then there's like Bill and Ted as well. There's a little bit. <laughs> Bill of, and Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some timey wimey stuff in that. Um, and then he's in Cyberpunk, which is based in 2077. Yeah. Uh, then you've got um, Dracula, another immortal yeah, I being. About so you that. think you think about the stuff that he's playing. I think no, he's not playing Mobius for the new. Uh, who's playing? Uh, Jared Leto's playing Mobius. Anyway, um, that was a slight tangent. The, but you think about the characters that he's playing and the and the way that he's coming across. You know, there's there's all these hints, and he doesn't actively deny it. Um, do do I, do I think he's immortal? Probably not. I, we're probably stretching some of these things. You know. Yeah. Like. But but it's it's a fun little conspiracy theory that you can kind of go. That's interesting. I get behind that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is. Yeah, so he hasn't really aged in the last twenty yeah. years. Let Moist let's body. see how things pan out in the next twenty. Yeah, yeah. When when I'm old and decrepit, Jerry, because he looks like Keanu Reeves has inherited that, looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see. I I doubt that, but we'll see. We'll see. Twenty years from now. Yeah, oh, I just think it's it's just a fun little thing, and I think we'll have a few more of those. Uh, my last fact from it, just just curious. <laughs> What okay. year did the Matrix come out? Oh, now you're testing me. I, I this is gonna. I know it's gonna surprise me. I just know it. So, I'm tempted to say 1999. Bang on. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Get in. 99. 99. And I watched. So I, I confession. I watched it last weekend. The the original one. The whole Still thing. Uh, no, no, just just number one. Yeah, no, sorry, but I mean the, the whole of number one. Because yeah, I, yeah. I, so the reason why I say that is, so I love number one definitely for me yeah. is the best. I tend to watch the first half an hour, forty five minutes of that, and then the fight scene in okay. the dojo. Yeah, and then and then I'm okay with it. I don't I need to watch fu. the rest. Yeah, okay. I know, I know kung fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just, yeah. yeah. No, no, I watched. I watched the whole thing, um, and I was like, the visuals and that still stand up today. Oh, and I was like, incredible. and that—that's what, and, that, and we, were, and obviously we were preparing for this podcast, and I was thinking about it. I was like, is this because Keanu's immortal and he's kind of bumping it up? But no, I just think the 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 Wachowski, is it Wachowski? Yeah, the Wachow, the, is it the Wachow, the Wachowski sisters? Yeah, the sisters. They are, yeah, they are sisters now. Yeah, um, very important to kind of get that correct. And it was like, and I was like. Just uh, yeah, and then they I, and are then I geniuses. Like, and then I was like, because then I look, that's when I looked up the date, and I was like, when did that come out? Ninety nine. Um, for for context, I was eight when that came out. <laughs> okay, for context, I was. Oh, for goodness' sake. Ninety nine. I was. Twenty six, I think. You're not that old. Yeah, twenty six. Yeah, I'm going to be fifty next year. Oh wow! Wow. Blimey. Fifty next well, year. Maybe I was even older. Yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, you're in twenty-eight. You're twenty years. Twenty-eight. Oh, yeah. this is okay, it's quite depressing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, like well, thank you, thank you very much. It's a moisturising <laughs> and the avocado on toast. Yeah. Self-care Sundays. Courage Self-care Sunday. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. No, he's so. Yeah. I, I mean. What what else can I say about Keanu that hasn't been said already? The guy is just an absolute legend. Yeah, he's a legend. So I think he is immortal because we're gonna immortalize him. I think we will. Yeah, I think he'll be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There you go. There's a practical spin on the immortal. Love it on the immortal thing. You love it. Yeah. Who says Spot we don't on. By the service. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you are welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you are. You are welcome. Yeah. He will be remembered for a long, long time. He's just I one of those so. actors that, yeah, well, he will I'm going to remember him anyway. Yeah, he will be. Right, should we do the last cool. bit then? Yeah, So let's do we, it. we are, we wanted as part of this podcast to kind of better ourselves a little bit. And because we can keep ourselves honest, because we're going to have to feed back. So this one, obviously, we're just going to say what we're going to do for the next 30 days. Or, well, I'm going to use air quotes, m- month. Because <laughs> obviously, we're going to record this at varying times because there are sometimes four weeks in a month sometimes there's five weeks in a month um so sometimes you may get like a 21 day update or maybe you might get a 36 day update i don't know um and 
I, I got the idea for this around uh, the, what they, uh, one of the other YouTubers that I watched, um, Cal Freezy, did a thing called the Freezy Five. And for 30 days, what they did is they, they for, well, uh, sorry, for 90 days, the, was it 90 days or was it 30 days? Anyway, they um, cold shower, which we've already discussed, we aren't doing. Um, no. Drink at least two and a half liters of water a day. Um, okay. Exercise every d uh, at least uh, was it five times a week. Um, read uh, fifteen pages of a book, um, and to eat healthily, just just generally eat healthily. Was the five things on those things for ninety days, and just to see what the difference is. We've already discussed that we're just not willing to do the shower one because yeah, th there's loads of theories on it, and the Wim Hof method is is a really good thing which we we perhaps could dive into later in a later podcast. Um, but just no. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's not happening. I'm telling you now, it's not happening in this household. So instead of us trying to do like all the other four at the same time, we wanted to like do one per month and just see. Break what it benefit. down. Break it down. Yeah, makes bit. sense. And hopefully, it takes. So according to Jim Shark, it takes uh, sixty-one days to build a habit. So we're doing it a little bit shorter, but hopefully, if we just keep it up, then maybe we can bring it up. Okay. So the, the first one that we've. I've put down, and I'm hope I hope you agree with Jerry and are okay with it. It's going yeah. to be the two and a half liters of water a day. Yeah, I'm cool think, with that. Yeah, and I think that's a really good thing. So I mean, I'm not, I'm going to lie. I, I should be uh, that should be fairly easy for me. But do you track your water intake at all? Kind of. Okay. So I was thinking about it the other day, and and I've I've worked out that so far I've got a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company <laughs> glass here cup which which takes just a smidge over a pint and i drink <laughs> i drink about so sorry i'm, I'm showing dom yeah for, for listeners i'm showing dom the, the the cup um i i drink about i drink about at least two to three of those a day okay. so so i i think i think that and and but how many so pints? let's say two and a half two and a half so yeah, so two and a half litres of water is four and a half pints, roughly. I did the calculation, I've written it down in my notes, because I, yeah. So, so that's four and a half pints. So, I do need to be upping my water intake a smidge. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to be too difficult for me. So, yeah. essentially, I think all I'll have to do is just drink one more of these. Yeah glasses a day and, yeah. I, and I'll, I'll i'm there oh, i just realized i wanted to add it my phone and my phone is the other side give me a second you might better <laughs> hear me it's gonna be a bit weird on the podcast now because I'm i can hear you actually so i i track on my phone like a load of stuff uh, apologies put my headset back on <laughs> um so i track a load of stuff in like my fitness pal and my fitbit and things like that so um, I was looking back through my water intake and, uh, and I've had some really bad days, but in okay. terms of the opposite. So I had 5.8 liters of water on one, one day because I ended up exercising outside and that's why I've started to eat bananas to get the electrolytes okay. and potassium back into my body. Cause I was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think even drink. dolphins drink that much water. <laughs> dolphins don't drink that much water. I'm sure they don't. Yeah, probably not. That's just me. Um, so yeah I, I i was not worried about this challenge but what i wanted to do is try and make sure that i was consistent with it yeah that's the key yeah and um, but i also have another app that i i track like each day like it's like a it's a journaling app um so each day i, I track and basically i set up like a, a load of goals so for example i want to do strength training four times a week i want to do taekwondo at least two times a week i want to do yoga at least two uh, once a week stretch things like that so i said to myself on this podcast i was going to add the water one uh, to make sure that i've like you know i've, I've got this in um i was going to try and do this on the podcast but i've just realized that i don't actually remember how to add a goal so <laughs> um i did activities okay, what, whilst you're looking that up can i just say i and mm. i really this is what i honestly i'm in absolute awe of the fact that you take care of yourself the way that you do, the exercise, you, I mean, Taekwondo, that is, that is a hard martial art. It doesn't matter how you slice it. My hips can tell you that. <laughs> oh, it is, it's brutal. And the fact that you, you know, you're so good at it. I'm just in absolute awe of that. The only way I'd ever get as good is, is if I was to get, be plugged into 
some kind of a I know come learning program. <laughs> I, know ta- I know taekwondo. Um, I mean, I, uh, so for context, I don't I don't do the um, uh, the stuff that you see on the Olympics. Um, I am I do the traditional side. So taekwondo has a big history where it's got split into two. So uh, 1955 formally was taekwondo, and in 1963 um, the sports side split off and formed the World Taekwondo Federation. Uh, right. They aren't called the WTF anymore for obvious reasons. Um, we are still <laughs> called the ITF. Um, interestingly, tennis, the World Tennis Federation, still has WTF as their as their um, <laughs> uh, as their thing. Uh, interesting facts that I, I knew. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so my, my traditional side in our sparring is more kickboxing akin, if that makes sense. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, um, uh, unfortunately, I I have the muscles. Everything that you can do, like water's good for you. So that 5.8 litre day, I felt horrendous afterwards because I'd over-exercised and over-drank and not put enough electrolytes in. So I was right. a little bit, my was, was in balance. You can over-exercise. I mean, you, um, Jerry, you've probably heard about all my injuries that I've mm. had. I mean, I've torn every single muscle, not every single one, but I've, you know, I've done one of my Achilles. I've done one of my hamstrings. I've Ouch. done both of my hips i've done one of my glutes i've done one side of my back i've done one you know i've done pretty much everything um bones i've done all right fractured rib and fractured knuckle are the only two that i've really had and can't do much about them but so you can overdo it but yeah i, I am a bit of a i'm a bit of an exercise fiend so when we come to the exercise month i know jerry's not looking forward to it no i'm really not but i i did have a think about that just to give you a heads up um and i found a way that i think I will give you a target okay. and it shouldn't be too strenuous and hopefully you okay. should see some results. So ah, Cool, um, okay. So I have just added into my uh, into my journal lap now uh, a goal uh, select from current existence of water um, and then it's so I've got goal, repeat every day um, I'm not going to put reminders on because I don't have reminders on. So start date today repeat every day. So now I, sh- I have an extra goal in my app that basically says uh you know make sure that you've logged your water uh, and then that should be and and just for context for some of the other ones so i have on here uh no alcohol um oh hang on whoops wrong button how do i that's not what i wanted ah more here we go, comes. <laughs> so i have uh strength training uh, no phone in the bedroom, which is a really interesting one, which we can, mm, okay. we can try in a month. Um, and I can explain, I love to explain the health benefits of that. Uh, okay. No alcohol. And when I, it says no alcohol, and it's, I'm not doing this so I'm going to go, I must not drink alcohol. It's just purely, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing too much. So I'm on a 34 day streak. Um, I was on a 134 day streak, and then I had a wedding, drank. Of course you did, yeah. That's and then right. my Sunday was horrendous, so we won't go in that. Um, <laughs> But we no can let sugar, you off for that. No, but no, no, like, what's the term? Like sugar in like, as in like a chocolate bar. I'm yeah, processed. Fruit. Yeah, no okay. processed sugar. Uh, taekwondo twice a week, cardio three times a week. Um, one of the ones I've added, and I've done pretty well, is um, five fruit and veg. Okay. Because I got really bad where I found out that some days I just eat no, no fruit and veg at all. And I'd eat chicken and rice and all that, but I just wouldn't put like broccoli or peas or something with it um, and things like that. Uh, and then yoga once a week, uh, stretching three times a week, recovery three times a week, and I've just added water to every day now. So nice. Um, and it just sets a. Re- it's got a reminder that goes off about nine p.m. for me to fill it out. And That's comprehensive. Yeah. I'm in awe. I am in awe, Dom. So, yes. Seriously. As part of this, we will, and then what we'll do is we'll feed back in the next podcast. Yeah, that's fine. Looking forward to it. I think we're at the end. I think we are. How long do you no, think? Oh, well, you can see how long do you think this is. Yeah, I, I, I would say two minutes for uh, two, two minutes, two minutes, two hours. It feels like two minutes. It's gone by really quickly. It's yeah. over two hours. It's definitely over two hours. So I think we'll we'll leave this podcast here. I have one surprise for you, Jerry. Okay. I'm complete throw you. Uh, give us your final thoughts. Ooh, okay, that that has thrown me. Final thoughts on anything. On anything. On podcast, just generally. Okay, here's here. All right, I've got it. 
Yeah. So, uh, uh, yes, it's thrown me, but I, there's something I feel compelled to say. Um, I had no idea, not that long ago, that I'd be sitting here doing a podcast with you, which I've, I don't think I've ever been this excited about a project, to be honest. I know it sounds silly, but really, genuinely. Um, and, yeah, do you know what? sometimes you just need that catalyst to get you to do something that that you'd never would have done mm. um, yeah. and and you, you've been that catalyst i really so to my thought is i'm so pleased that i'm doing this I, I've, I've kind of seized the opportunity but a big thank you to you dom no oh, no wouldn't no, have done no. it without you no, no and thank you for agreeing to this because I, I it, it was a it was it was great and i and i i deliberately I, i'm going to do that every month final thoughts from jerry oh okay well can i do it back no okay fine <laughs> that's the only rule <laughs> all right that's fine I, I i i can live with that but yeah that's what that that's it i i, I just i've really enjoyed this whole experience it's yeah. been brilliant i think thank you seize opportunities that you get that's the one to do it, isn't it absolutely yeah. that's the final thought seize the opportunity you know why because if you don't then you're i i think that feeling of what if is is worse than what? trying something and thinking actually i didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i would or i didn't feel comfortable with that whatever it is just yeah. fight doesn't matter just yeah. throw yourself into it and see how it goes see where it takes you Love it's that. much better whatever that experience is is much better than a what if and i've loved this i was nervous i'm not going to lie the first first leading up to this I, mm. i've just been trying to push the whole thing out of my mind about how it was going to go first 10 minutes i was nervous as hell yeah. but oh, okay. but i forgot about it yeah I've, I, 10 minutes into it i thought oh right do you know i'm in my stride yeah do, I, do, I i i think maybe the one i was doing the opening spiel i was a bit like oh god i haven't done this kind of youtube opening spiel bit again and we're kind of going into kind of what we what we'll probably discuss offline it maybe a little bit um but i was like no no this was natural i'm just having a conversation with jerry and we've just got yeah, some topics great. to talk about that's great yeah and that's what we wanted to be and that's what we wanted this podcast to be so exactly i think we'll finish it there thank you to anybody that decides to listen to this but thank you to the listeners thank you to jerry for uh, joining me um thank I, you I appreciate, thank you Dom. i appreciate jerry and i appreciate anybody that listens um we will we're gonna make these we're gonna go for a schedule first off you know we we said we're not gonna aim for perfection but schedule we're gonna be the first so this will be the first of july um and then we'll talk to the next one so Thank you very much for listening, everybody, and goodbye. Yes, fantastic. Take care, everybody. Stay safe.